I'm like, this cunt's not going to understand me. And then he, he comes waddling over towards me and I'm like, fuck, I can ask this cunt for help. I was like, oi, gee, I'm like, do you want to fucking give us a hand? He goes, what happened? What's going on? And then I'm like, Goody, good day. <laughs> Glad to Cheers, be here, boys. my boys. As always, coming back from another week of your Monday night entertainment. Man, I just want to say, right, I'm about to toot our own fucking horns right now. I listened to the podcast for the first time yesterday while I was driving around, right? I had a fucking big drive for work, so I'm cruising around. I was like, you know what? I'm getting over the music. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to put on the Firecast, the, our latest one, the special. Yeah. And I was actually, this is going to sound so cringe. I was actually like laughing at ourselves. <laughs> like, I was actually like giggling at the shit we were talking about. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I messaged Chloe and I was like, dude, like we're actually like kind of funny. And she goes, no, nah, he's actually are. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. So boys, honestly, well done. Like good job. Salud. Salud. Good, job. Salud. good job, man. Like it's fucking. It's, oh, it's sometimes good. I forget that like people listen as well. And mm. I'm just like. And you forget, like, there's so many little one-liners that, like, fly you know, under the radar. You, especially, you can you, yeah. you say shit yeah. out, fucking listen yeah. back, and I didn't notice when we were doing it. Yeah. And I, I just hear it. We keep talking. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh, cracking yeah. up my fucking. Or like, I'll say something, and then it's like the conversation. Say if you you miss it, and yeah, I just, just I let going. it slide. But I'm like, maybe someone listening caught it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good job, boys. As always, guys. Thank you for listening. Um, little update. We're just talking off air. Um, there's only. 40 tickets left for Synergy. So it just sounds cooler that way when you say it that way rather than how many have been purchased. Yeah. So only 40 tickets left. Um, if you can put two and put two and two with the venue numbers, which isn't much, uh, you could probably take a little rough guess of how much we've sold. Um, but it's doing well. There's a lot of time left. So oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. probably will sell out. Yeah. So you should get your tickets these ASAP. shows, mm. unfortunately, these shows always sell out a mm -hmm. few days before. Yeah. And the ones that have waited the whole time, then they see the date, they're like, oh, wait, that's tonight. And they're trying to make a yeah, yeah. a choice then, a decision whether to go or not. And yeah. most likely by then they'd be sold. You know yeah. what I mean? Just get your fucking tickets, man. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Just get your tickets. It's It'll be cheap awesome. as. And then Iggy just worked out before off air that it was, uh, it's going to be, if we get 30 people, it's like $21 each. On the bus. On the bus, but the bus fits 70. Exactly. So if we get more than that, it's going to be like 15 Five dollar bucks. Five, $10 bus to get yeah. there and back. You, you know, know what I mean? You know, yeah, you know what? Let's just, let's just do it. Let me do a quick fucking mathematical equation right now. Okay. Right. If we somehow do oh, get computing. 70 people on this bus, it's going to cost us $10. Yeah. Fucking hell. So mm. and then you won't be able to fit in the venue though. So <laughs> some people are gonna <laughs> the bus is bigger than the fucking venue. You're gonna have to. So, some people have to wait outside. Ten ten dollars <laughs> if we get even if we get close to like say even we get fifty people, man, that's cheap as chips. You, yeah. you don't hear about buses doing it that cheap. These no, days. no, for sure. So I say we're working hard trying to make this shit easy for you, motherfuckers. So get the tickets, man. Let's fucking sell this uh, shit out. Let's fucking the more tickets we sell, they'll give us the upper room anyway, and we'll have even more yeah. people. So, you know, so just get mm. your tickets early and, you know, it'll make everything better for everyone. Yeah, fucking oath. Um, So that's fucking doing well. Uh, and by the time you listen to this episode, our song with Wombat is out. Oh, yes. Reverie that's this is Friday, out. isn't it? Yes, this Friday. So as we're recording, you can still pre-save, but it's already out. Yeah. Go listen to it. Go stream it. Fucking oath, you know? bro. Um, what is the... One Piece bars that he's talking about. Cause yeah, because I've, I've only listened to it once, but don't tell me. Let, let me and Iggy, let us mm. let us find out he, organically. He only says, well, I say one and he says what, one. Well, fine, tell it. What is, he, what says, is it? No. he says, well, do you even watch One Piece? So no. you wouldn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, that's I, what, I, I, I don't even know what Wombat's talking about because I'm not up to that yet. I don't oh. know it's from One Piece. Okay. So when he says, it, demonic as a gora say when they enter the reverie. Yeah. That's... From later on One Piece. A reverie uh, is a thing in One Piece. It's like an organisation and the Gora say is something I don't know yet either. I'm just not up to it. What the fuck was that? Oh, shit. And then Sorry. when I heard him say that, I, I, I said, um, this fifth gear, you know, in the Furion with us whales, that's, you know, that's Luffy, fifth gear, turns into fifth gear, so he powers up. Ah, okay. I, thought, I, I, I knew the Gora say uh, thing was the One Piece bit, but yeah. I didn't, I, I'm nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, up to that shit in One Piece. But yeah, that song's out, man. Go stream it. 
Go listen to it. That's and then the album comes out shortly after. Yep, yep, yep. I yep. love that I've only heard it once as well because I've been fucking chomping at the bits yeah, to hear it again. Yeah. Eh? It's yeah. different from when you heard it too slightly. Yeah, we've changed. We it a updated little bit. it and yeah, yeah. fixed things. Yeah, you yeah. you heard a bare bones. Yeah, you heard rough yeah. version. Okay, so you like one of the first people on earth to hear that track, and oh the only God. person who heard it in that form, anyway, at least. Yeah, yeah. which would have been us three and Chloe. <laughs> so you guys, especially Chloe, she's got to really realize that she's getting like the. Front Super row seat, the sneaky seat. peaks of this shit, yeah. bro. Like that's why I feel sorry for her too. Because by the time I finish songs, she's fucking all over them as well. Because I'm playing ten thousand times. Like that yeah, fucking she's song. She's onto the onto the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So Joey K, what's been going on? How's work? Um, any more uh podcast questions for you? Or are you famous yet on the, on the <laughs> top side? <or? laughs> bro, it's so funny, man. Like the, a few new guys start have started. Like we've got a pretty good like fun crew now. Like when I came here. When I came, went to- Wasn't it just you or- No, it was me and two other mad good mm. workers. And yeah. everyone was leaving around me. And I was like, mm. is it me? Like when, when, <laughs> I, when I got there, like a few months later, it was just me and they looked at me and I was the only one who could run a job. And they're like, well, do you want to start running jobs? And I'm like, well, I, I kind of have to, right? So I could, they kind of threw me in the deep end, but it made me like grow more as a, as a tradesman and stuff. But we had no one for ages and we we're just bending over backwards to try and get jobs mm. done. But then now they got- new guys in and yep. it's like all younger guys and even a bit older but fun like you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. like a good chat anyway the new guys that come in the ones that had already seen through tiktok or whatever or mm. by listening that i had a podcast <laughs> they feel the need to like tell the new guys like <laughs> hey you've got a pod and i was saying it before like last episode like it's so weird because i'm like i i would prefer not i don't want to be that guy so Hey, I got a podcast. Because like, <laughs> yeah. I see so many podcasts on my on yeah. socials and stuff. So it's just like, it's just another podcast, right? If you want to listen, just listen. Um, but yeah, and then as soon as uh, I start, they start I start talking about it. I'm like, yeah, as soon as I mention the shows, you know, like, oh yeah, ears perk up a bit more, mm. you know what I mean? And it's like, oh, we sold out the first venue. And they're like, oh, true. And I'm like, yep, <laughs> 80,000 people at hell. <laughs> and we sold out every single yep. I told them, but I was like, it only housed like 80, but we oversold. And like, even that, the first, Oh, we used to have done shows before, but the first show, like lately, since you've got back into it, that, that has no, been- No, well, yeah, run our, by us. Yeah, run by us. Yeah, run yeah. by us. It's our just like, show. that's our first show. So it's just like, uh, they got more excited when we start talking about the shows. Some mm. of them do listen. Some of them mm. just go, oh yeah, whatever, that's good, that's good. But as soon as I said EDM and, and hip hop mm. and rap and that, they're just like, oh, you know, some like mm. the R&B, some like the EDM yeah. more, so- I think, I think I've got about five people at least coming. Get your fucking tickets, man. Grab yeah. them. Grab them, grab them, grab them. I want, I, want to have, I want to have this conversation with Lazy Bones where I call them and I say, give me that top room. Yeah. And, I, and we need to do it soon. I can't do it on the day because then mm. it's too late. I need to, I want to, I want to fucking. But will she, ah. she, will she take into account the ones that are getting free entry as well on top of this ticket sold? Yeah, yeah, Or yeah. is it just tickets sold? No, no, no. I had I had to, Um, that's that's what I said. These, these guys are a lot more uh, professional than Elton's. Straight away, the first thing she said to me before we had any discussion, she was like, don't forget, whatever you do as your free entry, I know you've got artists and usually plus ones, yada, yada, content people, you need to include them. So you can't sell 70 or 80 tickets capacity and then have 20 on top mm, for free yeah. entry. That makes it 90 capacity. That's yeah. a big no-no. Yeah. Eldon's, we could do that because it's fucking Elton, but they didn't give yeah, a fuck. put us on the roof. Yeah, they didn't give a shit. <laughs> this place was like, we cannot overcrowd this motherfucking place. I was like, okay. And that's what made me realize, go, okay, now we're dealing with a bit more professionalism, which is what I want. Yeah, I, yeah. I want Synergy to be, I want it to feel like a nightclub. Yeah. Not like, like we're in some fucking backyard basement Because the bar, setup right? would be much better than Elton. Oh man, th even, th th this, I mean? it looks unreal in there. Yeah. It's going to be so fucking fun. Like yeah. I am so, you don't understand how excited I am. It looks like I'm. a low roof. Is that like Dude, low roof? you can touch the roof. Yeah, like yeah. if you're a tall motherfucker. Yeah, like me. What? Nah, just if you're jumping around, bro, you, you could fucking hit something, possibly. It's like Chinese laundry. If you've been to Chinese laundry, you touch the roof, all the sweat comes on your hand, and you just lick it. Oh, yeah. It's like that. I used to go there just for that. Midi, go home. Midi's going to have his head fucking put oh, yeah. a hole in the roof. So, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm so fucking excited. Like, I've already listened to the song, getting my set ready, and I've already had a couple of the girls like message me, be like, dude, we can't wait. The girls are already looking for outfits and shit. So you yeah. do not want to miss this. I got my set you, ready. I asked this guy. I texted him halfway through the week, and I'm like, Give me a half hour set. <laughs> yeah, he's like, give and me more like, time. Just give me a half hour. And then he's just like, oh, you know, Jezza, Jezza, you fucked me. <laughs> yeah. 
You selfish cunt. <laughs> no, so, I'm joking. So uh, originally, it, I'm just sport for choice with all, everything like that's going on, like that I want to, sh- mm. that I want to just like play. And then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm getting to the point now with the playlist where I'm like, that's way too much. I want to take stuff out. So yeah. I'm like, I don't need that over that. You know what I mean? It was one of those things where originally I was going to give you the extra time to open, but then Jezza and M16 hit me up and they were so like keen. Mm. Jezza was like, dude, I'm like, I'm literally buying decks to He's practice. He's like, dude, I want to fuck up Joey's set and yeah, I want to like, I I impede want on his fuck set. Fuck Joey. Yeah. No, nah. no, but, but that, and then him just doing that. And that's what I, I was thinking. I was like, this is what I want within the crew. Like I want cunts to be keen. I want, he bought decks. So him, him and M16 have been practicing. You want more yeah. time. Mr. Meagly has already told me he fucking never wants a day off DJing. Like that's what I want. I was like, the boy, the, the crew, the mafia being so keen makes me want to do it more as on top of everything else. Like yeah. it, I'd rather this than everyone just going, oh, I don't care. Give me whatever. Yeah, oh, you yeah. know, I'll do this. Yeah, of course. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, but yeah. so everyone being so keen and eager, I was like, yeah. okay, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. And on the night it's multiplied. Exactly. Like you can't even replicate it in your head. That's the thing with leading up to these things. You think about how it's going to be. Yeah. And like, if it's anything like Elton Jong's, uh, Elton Jong's. <laughs> King okay. Jong Un's brother, <laughs> um, um, Elton Elton Chong's right. Ah, if, if, <laughs> <laughs> the <USA>. um, <laughs> What was I saying? <laughs> yeah, if it's anything like Elton Chong's, I know yeah. it's going to be better because I, I mm. can already tell the venue's even better. Mm, mm-hmm. It's just going to yeah, you can't replicate it. Like I remember thinking when on the night at Elton Chong's, like I thought about it so often leading up to it, and it just couldn't have gone better. Yeah, I even oh. I even asked the the girl, the lady there that mm. was kind of running the show. Mm. Um, and she was just like, yeah, like no hiccups, nothing like yeah. other than the toilets yeah. clogging. Yeah. Other than someone. So like, get your tickets, man. Cause it's going to be lit. Yep. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I haven't, I haven't organized my set yet cause I sort of know, but I want to do off the album a few songs anyway. Yeah. Definitely. So I'm waiting for that. Yeah. And for, for this set as well, it's m- because I'm doing a set, you take full reins. Yeah, I'm doing so you do your full thing. I don't yeah. like don't don't try to make it like EDM. If you want to just go yeah. full bars, bro, go full bars. I I think I like, am gonna go. I'm still gonna do my staple. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna and plus a lot of the people there have already seen that set. So I don't want to do. I want to do new stuff. Yeah. So my two things I'm gonna do. Just want to party. I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna keep Black Flag. I think those two. Yeah, songs, they're like staples. Yeah, everyone's yeah, got staples. Have to. Everyone's you know got staples. And but then yeah, everything I think will be off the new. Like I I can't wait to do. Um, is it until we say until oh, we say, can't. Right. Oh, say move your right. sexy you, body. You, please <laughs> learn that song. Oh, yeah, please, I, I already know what it is. Please, because yeah, that live, that I'm literally going to yeah. get like a bow and arrow yeah. and fucking start shooting it into the yeah. crowd and, and shit. Because I'm not because I'm not right before the EDM. That's when I realized, like, yeah, hey, I can do more hip hop here because I'm the opener. So you know, by yep. Stevens after me. So there's no point me going rap EDM glitch hop and then. It's Straight hip hop again after me. Yeah, well, it's before you the EDM. Ver- verse then by speed. exactly. So, so you know, but um, yeah. uh, yeah. So get your tickets and check out the jumper. Can you see it? Yes, sir. Firecast one hundred episode OG hoodie. Damn, that's clean. It's, it's, uh, let me take a picture. Right it's there. almost time to change, man. It, this is gonna go Tuck away. These in. Tuck these in. The, the winter. Yeah, yeah, guys. Well, there's only a, uh, uh, we, oh, we've got a promo code as well, guys. Before this shit closes, um, so you know. If you want to be exclusive, yeah. you're going to have to pick this up because this won't be here again. 100 episode special yeah. hoodie, yeah. man. I just got myself exclusive. one. Yep. Shout out. So did you, you got I one? Just, I'm yeah. gonna, shout out, of course, to mum who's got one and Megalodon. So thus far, there's only five of these on planet Earth. So guys, if you do, want it, if you want it, it cop it. Yeah. If, show, if you want to really support and show you're a fan, mm. grab just grab one yeah. hoodie. Because Russia's th- threatening nuclear war if they don't get a like if they don't cop some. Yeah, so. and, fucking uh, no. Megalodon bought one of my shirts too, and I just realised you had the thing with the song. If you bought one of the DZ shirts, right? Where in the email it sent them the song. What's, yes. What song was it? I think it was until we say. So I wonder, Megalodon, have you heard that? Did you check your email? Check your email when you bought the the merch. You should see the song in there. Yeah, that's the right. song. I forgot about that. Mum would have got it too. No, well, I'm pretty sure M16 bought a DZ shirt as well. I'm oh, pretty sure. Well, yeah. if, you, if you got the DZ shirt, you get an exclusive sneak peek at 
the song on the album until yeah. we say, which is one of my favorite songs on the fucking album. That is that is That's oh. so awesome, man. You, this guy is a fucking yeah. genius. It's a fucking medieval beat. <laughs> it's, like it's a medieval <laughs> beat with a fucking reggae <laughs> dance hall chorus. It makes no sense. It makes no fucking but sense. But it sounds so Dude, good. Dude, this man. cunt, bro. This cunt. Right, he's he's got a bar in there. Right, with it. it's like a it's like a fucking it's like a mandolin or a lute. Right, so it's like an old ass instrument. And this cunt's got bars where he's going. Um, he, what, there's one bar that makes me crack up every time while I'm driving. I'm I love it. You, you go, um, something something something. Uh, my crew is full of dragons that like to seek and destroy. And then you said something along the lines of like, and bring that mead back. Yeah, uh, a another, couple rounds a couple from my boys. My boys. No, that, see, this village is it, fucking jumping. So turn off the. Yeah, oh. See us in the, what the wait, fuck? wait, see us in the tavern. See us up in the tavern. So run that coin and bring that mead, mead back. back. A couple of rounds for my boys. Oh, yeah. that mead back, bro. Because yeah, it's all mead evil. back. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. His mead was beer. Was it mead back in the like? What was, was it called? Beer? Alcohol. Like, it was alcohol, beer, right? Yeah. yeah. I, when they say mead, I think frothy. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a fucking dope oh, song. Oh, bro. Man. Like, I can literally picture, like, Game of Thrones and they're just, like, walking yeah. and just yeah. drinking at the tavern yeah. and shit. That's why we need to do a film yeah, clip yeah, for yeah, that, a good dude. Film clip oh, idea, oh, oh, that'd be right. mad. Oh, we do some D&D, dress up as yeah, wizards yeah. and shit. We're all just drinking. Oh, dude, like, fuck. Yeah, good things, man. Good things. I'm keen for that. Yeah, so that, that drops uh, first Friday of September. So we're mm. still a little bit away from that. But to keep us in the loop, uh, keep it keep us excited. You've got the Wombat. Uh, Listen to that now. Reverie stream yep. that now. Mm-hmm. It's on the album. Um, but what have you been up to anyway? Me, um, not much this week. This week's been a bit of a quiet week, um, to be honest. Now that the album's finally done, uh, everything, my little... So I don't know if you remember the things I kept sharing where it was like a list of all the things we're doing this mm-hmm. month. Everything's officially now finished and ticked off. So that's kind of good. Bit month of, complete. Month is complete. We we hit every deadline that we wanted. Um, So now I've been working on a single that I'm trying to finish, which is the clip I shared. And I'm fucking struggling with the drop, man. Big time, bro. I can't come up with a drop I like. Um, It'll come to you. It'll come. The song started as Glitch Hop. Now I'm changing it to drum and bass because I, I just wasn't, I was over the Glitch Hop trying to make it work and it wasn't um man sound designing's hard man you go down these rabbit holes bro like i got this new plugin and i was making sounds for it was like 40 40 something hours not consecutive obviously so it's over a span of two days i did nothing but just sitting here in the dark going <laughs> just making weird fucked up sounds literally like if you're sitting outside my room it sounds like there's some weird shit happening in here the demonic fucking yeah yeah possessions <laughs> happening it was just and i didn't mean to do it It was just a rabbit hole because it was a new like a new bit of software and i was just like geeking out over it and then i was like dude i've done fucking nothing but just literally make fucked up sounds and shit so i was trying to get it it's been a bit of a struggle but hopefully i can get that out i want to do that then in four weeks there's a brand new game coming out like new world when new world come out during COVID. <laughs> so I'm going to be clearing my schedule for the first two weeks of September. No music, no nothing. I'm what, just, what game is it? It's called Throne and Liberty. Right. right? Okay. And it's by Amazon, the people who published new world, right? This game has been popping off in Korea for like the past couple months. And now they're finally releasing it to like the Western countries in four weeks. And I've been sending it to the boys like Mobsy, Diamond and Brad and shit. And I was like, boys, I'm like, we're in for a rough one, man. We're going to get addicted to this shit. It's like New World on fucking steroids. Literally, like it's got classes. You can pick different weapons and shit. And th- but the point of the game is it's PvP focus. So it's fighting other real players. Dude, in this fucking game, you can do like, um, it's like... 150 versus 150. Yeah, that's it's a fucking Cut, man. bro. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of just for two weeks straight, just like streaming it and just doing nothing else but streaming and playing. Dude, this game, right? It's one of the first games where in the game where you can, you know, how most games have fast travel. This game is one of the first games where there's no loading screens. It's insta, instant fast travel. So you click the fast travel button. And it loads for like a little, maybe three or four seconds. Your character does like a little animation and then boosh, you're in the next area. Think about that for a second. Well, then there is a loading screen. No. Three, four seconds. The no. Anima- the that, animation. That's not a loading screen. But, it, but that's the trick they use. Yeah. It but, doesn't look like it. But, but it, it doesn't stop. Like your character's moving and shit. Oh, like, yeah. So they've transitioned from the the, yeah. the, the normal loading screen to they, they distract you with something going on. Yeah. With your, your, your yeah. yeah but this isn't like an actual different scene yeah, or nothing. Yeah, it's okay. like literally your yeah, character yeah. in okay. the world. It, it's seamless. Yeah. 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 And it, it's like, bro, that's what everyone's talking about. People were like, dude, this is like 
huge. Like if this is the direction games are going, like soon we're going to be literally playing games that like are so seamless where like there will be no loading screens, no and nothing. It's just boom. Like, and it's just, I'm so excited. And Mobsy's like, oh fuck, we're actually going to get addicted. This is my age. I'm like, yeah, dude. So no doubt that's going to be some fun. That's going to be a well-deserved break. Yeah. Right. We'll just pod. You should stream it. Right? Once a week. I might stream it for a couple of weeks, clear my schedule. Hopefully by then we're sold out for Synergy. So we don't have to worry about trying to push tickets and shit. And then, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. That's going to be me for the start of September anyway. Um, but yeah, other than that. Slow week. Haven't been doing much. Can so need a corner? Let's have a look here. I did do polls. Oh, yep. Do that first. Let me see. Can, I, can, polls. I, can I just, before you do the polls, yeah. can I just, since we're talking about what happened to us this week, like nothing really happened to mm. me, right? But that, like it's just a thought I thought about during the week. But I was I was going to the toilet. Now, me and Tori had some Indian the night before. Don't know if it was some question. Hey, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Goody yeah. for my dummy. Yummy, um, yummy, yummy. But we had the same batch and she was fine. But whatever. I did three poops that day. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't do three poops ever in a day. I do yeah. one if I'm lucky. Like one a day, one solid one, that's it. This was like gut, uh, gut sore, like fucking not explosive, but you know, not healthy, you know. And every time I was at work, and I already get stage fright as it is. I don't mm. got to go at work unless I got to go. You know what I mean? Right, you busted. Yeah. Like, if I, if I stayed 10 minutes longer w- doing work, I probably would have shit myself. You know? <laughs> so I thought, I got to go, right? I always clean the seat, you know, make sure it's like a full soap suds from the sink. I go around the toilet <laughs> like paper. I picture you squatting, like, on the actual well, seat. <laughs> well, because I don't like using the toilet paper on the seat either because at least during summer when it's hot, it sticks to you and then you're left wiping your eyes and then you've got the toilet paper that's mm. already been stuck to the toilet <laughs> all over your hand anyway. Anyway, <laughs> next door to me in the cubicle, by the way, I already feel like it's weird someone's shitting next to you and the only <laughs> thing that is making it normal is a bit of plywood in, in between yeah. you. Anyway. Yeah, imagine it was gone. Yeah, so, <laughs> shit. so then I'm like, already this guy's getting in and I could tell he's a bit obnoxious. He's an obnoxious shitter. You know what I mean? I'm a pretty, yeah. co- I'm, a, I'm a conservative <laughs> Very thoughtful shitter. <laughs> I'm in there and I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like if someone's next to me, I make sure my feet, they can't see my shoes. So it's just like, I'm just like, uh, no, I'm getting away from you, right? My, my feet are inward towards the center of the cubicle and I'm pushing and I'm like, don't over push. You don't want to overdo it because I don't want any, <laughs> all that, like, <laughs> you know how it echoes in the bowl? It's like, <laughs> you know those ones? So I'm literally like, all right, just, Pretending, I'm thinking that I'm doing a crime and I'm like, and because I put toilet paper first so it catches it. There's no splash. There's no noise. It's like a silencer, right? And also no backsplash. So I'm, I'm like thoughtful like that. The guy next to me, I can already tell he's obnoxious. You hear his belt buckle. He's going for it. He's taking this thing off. Like He's like, I hear the belt buckle. I hear, and he's like, oh. and, 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 I, and, I, and I hear, I see, I hear this toilet seat. He hits the toilet seat with force. It's like, oh, yeah, nice. yeah. and he's like, Oh, and I'm waiting for it. It's like, it's like a two second pause. It's like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and at the end, after it, he goes, Ugh. like he 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 grunted after, like like it was a demon being released from his soul. And I'm looking at him through the plywood, going, you I'm freak. like, I'm like this motherfucker, you, you right? right? But then I'm like, and then I told my mate, like the apprentice, I went outside. I'm like. Man, that's crazy. That and then later that day, same thing. On the other side, a guy came next to me, a loud shitter again, and yeah. I'm like, "What is this?" And I know sometimes you can't control it, right? Everyone has those ones. But if I accidentally let one rip, and someone's next to me, or someone's washing their hands, and I'm the only one in there, and I, <laughs> I I'm literally like, like secondhand embarrassment, like yeah. you know what I mean? But I just can't like get over how it's like it's so hard to just. Just don't push so hard, bro. Don't make it. Don't make it obvious that you're shitting. Yeah. Like, the only thing you could have done worse was grab the side of the <laughs> of the cubicle doors and go. Ugh! Like he was so loud. He's then, probably busy. He's in and, a rush. And, 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 so and, and then the most awkward thing is when you both end up at the sink together. Yeah, 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 yeah. He knows he's just performed an orchestra, <laughs> an underwater orchestra for me in the in the bathroom, and I'm supposed to just be like, I'm like I feel like sometimes like. I just being like nice, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. ten out of ten. You sunk Dude. my, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> then dudes wonder why they get hemorrhoids and shit because they're like <laughs> squeezing, like oh, oh, the oh yeah. And also they're very quick, they're very aggressive, and then they, I swear they do three wipes and they're gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, like shitty I'm, poo bums. And I'm shit. really bad for like. Tori reckons it's wasting toilet paper. Now you tell me, right? You a folder or a scruncher? Folder. Scrum- yeah, scruncher. <gasps> 
I was a scruncher when I was young. Okay, yeah. scrunching is so bad on so many ways. So you only yeah. get one little scrunch and then there's more risk of you getting your finger in there and you're like, yeah, got to give fingers, it a little sniff yeah, yeah. test. So I save it for later though, right. for lunch. Ah, uh, true, true. Or finger painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But anyway, so I'm folding, I'm folding the shit, right? And I fold, wipe. I fold another square and I wipe again and I fold another square. So I'm using, what I'm, the I'm, I'm having wipe, like yeah. five wipes. So I'll, I'll take this much toilet paper, fold it a bit, wipe. Fold it, and so it's getting shorter every time, but it's going in between. It's like a shit wafer, you know, like the, you know, like the waffles, the, you know, like the waffle pieces. Are, it's it's like, like they're sandwich. folding. Yes, yeah, a shit sandwich. Yeah. So I'm like this, this, but by the time I'm done, like I like to clean my asshole till I'm not seeing anything, right? Like nothing, barely nothing. Sometimes I even part my cheeks, I part my cheek and just put my little, put my finger, just the tip, <laughs> just the tip, not in, not in. But say this is my asshole. It's like this. Like this, like they're really patting it dry, right? And then, because I don't want to, I don't want to have a shitty ass. And then, so and then, next minute, I'm like, I literally come, I come back from work or something, and Tori's like, we've ran out of toilet paper, and I'm like, uh, and I probably use a quarter of a roll, uh, or maybe just under a quarter of a roll in one sitting. <laughs> DZ's looking at me. Like, it's, if it's, you can see this, it's, it's just, it's just fascinating hearing. Like, you don't know how another person uses the yeah. fucking bathroom. But I've what never, did they do? I've what, never what, heard what of someone they... using five fucking <laughs> half a roll with yeah. one and oh, just no, well, folding half, it in on like, itself. There, maybe there's six squares. You know the squares. Maybe there's mm. six or seven. And I just, uh, I think it's efficient in my head because I used to be a scruncher, but then I was always scrunching about. But wait a minute, if you got this, <laughs> a, a long roll, a long piece like this, and then you fold it in every time. How How's the first wipe? Do you have the long bit hanging out yeah, of the bowl? Yeah, hanging out like over the side of the bowl, but doesn't touch the floor. I get the right length where it's hanging off the Dude, side of the bowl. Tape wow. measuring oh, the but, fucking... But, but, like, but if it touches the tile and it's a chat public room, bathroom tile, bin it. Go next one. <laughs> it has to, be, oh my has God. to be the right amount. You know what I mean? But I thought that was efficiency, but clearly I'm doing something wrong here. Anyway, whatever. That's my dilemma. But... um. <laughs> But yeah, what's anyone uh, tell me the way you wipe? Do you, no, no, no. The ones, the ones that are psychos are the ones that wipe back to front. <laughs> like they reach through their legs. Imagine the big boys. Imagine looking like obese, oh, an obese guy. Oh my God. Shout out, shout out to all my big boys out there, yeah, my obese guys. But you can't tell me a two hundred and twenty fucking or, or mm. one hundred and eighty kilo guy is going over the side and reaching back. You got to wipe front, back to front, baby. I thought those dudes didn't wipe. They just shit themselves and shit. <laughs> I'm sure some of them That's do. what it would sound sure like, hey. Yeah. Just wet. It's like getting out between all the crevices. <laughs> so that's your weekly problems. Anyway, no, but that was one of my main thoughts where I was like, fucking, that's, just, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a courteous shitter. Like, I really don't want to make any noise. I'm not there to make a scene. I'm there to do my biz. If yeah. anything, I could, if anything, I don't even like how, like, I work at the uh, Westfield, uh, not as a security card, uh, but... Um, <laughs> I'm working and doing like electrical in the Westfield, right? Yeah, yeah. And I went to the disabled one with the with the frosted glassing, right? Oh, yeah, nice. And I pressed open and I went in and then you can't close it automatically. So I went in and I turned around and the door stays open and it goes, it slowly <laughs> reaches the next minute. People walking by and I'm like, <laughs> so, and then I have to wait till it shuts. You're not disabled. To, yeah, and then I have to press. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. But you know what's, you reminded me of a story of something that happened to me a couple of weeks ago, right? I, had, I didn't share this on the podcast because I forgot. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would have been updated with my shenanigans, right? I am officially on Plover Patrol. I'm the Plover Rescuer. I'm the Plover Whisperer. I'm the Plover King, right? Yeah. yeah. So here we go. Driving home from work. Uh, it was maybe three weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, to be honest. Um, driving home, and for some weird reason, I decided to drive. Well, not weird reason. I went to my Mima's house first, right? So my grandma, right? Fucking old Mima. Go to Mima, pick up some package that got delivered to her house. Pick up the package, going home. So I'm going home a different way than what I usually do, right? I'm then driving past the park behind my house. I never drive past the park because I come on from the M4, which is a KFC way. So I've come from St. Clair Ave way. I'm coming down, right? I'm driving past this park and I see two plovers on the gutter, right? And I've driven past and they didn't fly away or run away. And I'm like, that's straight away. I'm like, this is how attentive I am, right? I'm like, that's fucking strange. How come they didn't fly away when I drove past? So I was like, fuck this, right? Curiosity killed the cat, right? I've done a U-turn, a U-banger, and I've come back down the street. I'm like, what the fuck's up with these birds? I then learned why they're on the fucking gutter. Bro, there was three baby plover chicks on the road trying to jump up the gutter, but they were so small they couldn't jump up the gutter. 
and the parents were on the edge of the gutter looking down trying to help him up. So I've gone, fuck, okay. And then I look and there's a drain on either side and the babies are frantically panicking, running up and down. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my God, these things are going to fall down the fucking drain. I'm like, fuck, what do I do? I've then pulled over on the side of the road. I'm trying to rescue these fucking things. I'm still filming Snapchats and shit. I'm trying to rescue these plovers, but they're fucking swooping me. The parents are swooping me because I'm getting too close to the babies. So I'm like, fuck, what do I do here? Right. I then get a mat out of my ute because I use mats for like a... to when I load up my ute and shit, I put mats on the like safety mats and that. And homemade porn. Yeah. I had the safe the safety mat and I put that on the gutter like a ramp. So now I'm trying to get these chicks to go to the mat to climb up the mat back onto the grass with the parents. And I'm going, fuck, how am I gonna do this without scaring them into the drain? So I'm fucking around, fucking around, right? And then I see this SUV pulling in, right? First of all, I look like a weird cunt because I'm at the fucking park and there's like little kids and shit <laughs> playing there. So people are probably watching, going, what the fuck is this Pretty trick out. doing, right? Yeah. Then I see this van come flying, right? Around the corner. I'm like, okay, cool. This van's coming, coming, coming. And this van starts driving alongside the gutter edge. I'm like, this cunt's going to fucking kill the baby. <laughs> I'm going, oh, hey, I'm screaming. The van goes, Ur! the van was the van of the owner of the house across the road from where I'm trying to save these birds, right? There's big like, fucking big fella in there, whatever. He drops off a little Indian fella, right? This guy was old as shit, right? He had a big white mustache and shit, right? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, man? And these guys, and the Indian guy's kind of looking at me and I'm like just waving in that. And I'm like, fuck, this guy. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this guy's not going to understand me. And then he, he comes waddling over towards me and I'm like, fuck, I can ask this cunt for help. I was like, oi, gee, I'm like, do you want to fucking give us a hand? He goes, well, what happened? What's going on? And then I'm like, dude, look, look. And he looks and goes, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, dude, they're going to fall in the drain. Can you help me? I'm trying to get them up on the ramp. And he, he literally like a cartoon, he went, all right, so that's jogging down, right? Jogs down to <laughs> he the- He put his finger up. Yeah, he put his finger, yeah, put his finger up. Bulb yeah. Oh above my his God. He, he starts jogging down to the, the drain, <laughs> right? And blocks the drain. He then starts chasing the birds and they're running along the gutter now towards my ramp. This sick cunt's doing this while the birds are swooping him and shit. And I'm going, yeah, I'm like, keep going, keep going. He then chases and all three babies, like a movie, then just run up the ramp back on the grass to their parents. Oh, and what I was the like, fuck? yes. And then I'm like, you're a fucking sick cunt. And then he comes up to me and he just goes, you're a very good guy. You're a good guy. And I was like, no, you're a, like, you're a fucking good guy. And I shook his head. That's mad. I shook his head. I gave him a You're hug. a very good guy. Yeah, yeah. That would have fucking, that, that, yeah. You're that's, a good guy. I was like, mad. you're a fucking good guy, bro. We shook hands. I gave him a hug. I was like, well done, bro. I was like, that's fucking good karma. Yeah. Right? Then the next day I drove past again and they were stuck on the fucking thing. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me? But this time I wasn't scared of the parents. I just jumped out and just literally ran up to them and picked them up with my hands and threw them back on the grass. Haven't seen them since. Every now and then I go down that way now just to double check. They always wait but for yeah. you to try to pass so they can be like, we're back. Jump. <laughs> we're thing. on the- But yeah, that's what happened to me. That's so like a- Club a Patrol. Yeah, that's like a happy ending for a Bollywood yeah, yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, shorter. yeah. Literally, it was Much great. He was, he was great. He, big white. he looked like Indian Mario. <laughs> kind of. There's a lot of them, eh? There's a lot of them guys with the white mustache yeah, 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 yeah. and dudes with the white mustache. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, we've got no community corners, but we've got some speak dicks. Right, right? I'll, I'll do oh, yeah, quick, do your polls. Do, do, Sorry, do, do, do your polls. A couple of quick ones. Cause just because another one I was just curious about. Because I've had this theory, right? And it's become a thing. Like I've said, like, to everybody, Monday, <laughs> Monday is the quickest day. It flies, right? And mm. then I'll be boring as batshit on Monday, nothing to do at work. And it flies by every time. Monday is mm. always so quick. And then Tuesday, Tuesday is the killer. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday drags I'll do on, the yeah. exact same shit as I did on Monday, but it takes so fucking long. Mm. And I'm like, what is going on here? And my missus agrees. But then I asked you guys, and most of you got the answer wrong. <laughs> most of you disagree. I said, so which day of the week drags on the most? Quite a few answers from you guys. Chloe says Tuesday. Yeah. So she's right. Right on the nail on the head. Tory Law says Monday. Megalodon says every Monday waiting for fire cast. Mm. Mm. Holloway says Tuesday. Nail on the head again. M16 Wednesday. And then uh, Zexa says Monday or Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. is good because it's payday for me too. Mm. Every second Wednesday. Um, then I also asked which day goes the fastest. Friday. Friday. Definitely mm. Monday. Uh, Chloe says Sunday. Tori Law says Saturday. Megalodon says Sunday. Mom mm. says Wednesday. Holloway says Thursday. M16 says Sunday. Sunday does go fast. Zexa says Friday or Thursday, sometimes Tuesday. Mm. So, Sounds definitely like Monday. Not a single Monday on here, I don't think. What do you think? 
Tuesday goes the slowest for yeah, sure. Definitely. Like it's all I've always yeah. thought that is it's terrible Tuesdays for a reason, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Um yeah. but yeah, for me it's the Friday that goes fastest. I wake up the easiest on the Friday morning because yeah, yeah. I'm like, you got like it's a spring, Friday, you got baby. A spring in your step, Even yeah. if I'm working the Saturday, there's something about a Friday, man. Even yeah. like like Saturday's always chill anyway. But yeah, it's just that Friday, and then I'm like I'm, I'm just like more jovial, you know what I mean? Yeah, hundred like, percent. Do you know how everyone much on the work sites yeah. like fucking so, there's joy in hey, the air? Do you know uh, I said to the apprentice because the apprentice know has known me for a few months now, and he's like, he's like, you just, he's noticed that I just say shit sometimes, and it's like I can be cracking a joke, but I'll crack a joke to a random that I've just met. So <laughs> like, it's not like hey, knock knock, but it's like. I walk past this guy, so I'm running the ABC job. So it, within the building of the ABC in Ultimo, I'm running that job. So there's workers and staff passing through all the time, mm. and I'm go- walking through as well. And there was this guy with a coffee, and he had his hands full, and he had his coffee, and it looked like it smelled great. And I was like, he walked past me. Oh, thanks, mate. And I went to reach out <laughs> for it, but it was like little like that. Not actually went to reach out. I was like, oh, thanks, thanks mate. <laughs> and he was so confused. But I went to this, and he's like, oh, and he just had, had a little cackle. And then he's, my mate's just like the apprentice is like. Bro, like, what do you like? What do you mean? It's like if someone came up to me and just said, "Oh, thanks, mate," I'd be like, "What Huck the off. fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, true." Huck like, I don't know. Like, there's some, there's just certain things that I don't know. I, I my my fucking thing, my whole idea around that is like, I do it because I like I like to just have a joke and like be a bit of a clown. But yeah. then also, I feel like if you can just brighten up someone's day. But then again, some people take offense to it, or they think you're trying to make yeah. fun of them, mm-hmm. not her. Because it's the way you do it, right? If I fucking dax the dude. Yeah. <laughs> Mike. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, if you're not paying out on him, I think it's fine. And then yeah. if they take offense, it's kind of like, sh- shame on you. Like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, I'm just, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? They got something wrong. I'm not causing trouble for no, anyone. See, I'm, I'm the same, but the difference with me is though, if someone does take it to offense or I can get that vibe where they didn't find the funny, I then amp it up. And I get even weirder, and I, that's when I start doing like gay jokes and shit in front of them, and they just I just completely make them feel uncomfortable. I'm like a vulture. If yeah. I smell the weakness on you, I'll I'm going for you, yeah. and you're my target for the whole day. <laughs> I used to do that shit when I was Ashfield, and that's why at Ashfielding they used to call me the biggest pest known to Ashfielding because I just go around like a hound. As soon whoever was having the worst day, <laughs> that was my target for the day. I just fuck with them all day. Yeah. Um, now let's go to fucking speak cockaliciouses because we've got a few. Right here we go. This one's called Lazy Bones Lounge. <laughs> the fucking lady's message me. She's like, this show is cancelled. Yeah. With all the shit you talked on Firecast. <laughs> You're not going to get any Indians at the show. In regards to your next show, I was just, you know, I was into what Friendly Fire was saying in regards to um, that venue, Lazy Bones Lounge. Um, I, I don't know if you, so Shaco did a show there, but like he sold like over like 70 tickets, but he had the main, he had the upstairs room, but with the upstairs room, um, he, he couldn't, he couldn't get it on a weekend, which is pretty weird. I think, I think they have something, I think they reserve it for something on a weekend. So I'm, I'm guessing if you guys impress them with the downstairs, for some reason they let you book a downstairs thing. It's like a, they don't consider it as a show. They consider it as a party. That's why, like the, the the function is so small downstairs. But anyway, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoy that show and that one bar sound, uh, that one bar song. I'm I'm probably heard it. And I know it's gonna. I know it's sick. Uh, congrats on that. And yeah, like I know more things are coming. And hopefully, we guys will meet one day. One day. Full cross paths. Yeah, yeah. So the it's probably a function room, right? Like, yes, 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 mm-hmm. yes. So yeah, the top room. I had the option too to have any date I wanted in the top room, but it was either Sundays or Thursdays, and I literally just responded in the email. I was like, "Do you want to make money or no?" <laughs> she, and then then she was like, "Yeah, I, I figured." I was like, "Dude," I was like, "No one's coming out on a fucking Sunday or no. a fucking like no or way. weekday." Like, I'm no. sorry to say, like. Um, like, Poss- possibly if you're doing underage, under like all ages events, then yeah, probably you could pull a decent crowd. But oh, sorry, during school holidays, um, during school holidays <laughs> or something, yeah. But for for my for our age group and the genre we're targeting, that's a big no no. Uh, yeah, big big no. Nine to five during the week. And yeah, then- yeah. And like I said, people like to listen to EDM and stuff and get a little bit loose, a couple of drinks, you know, some and not go to work the next and day and not go to work the next day. Um. So yeah, and then the yeah the bottom floor basically it's technically a function, hence why they can just kind of let you do whatever you want. But 
you've got X amount of tickets that you can fucking sell. Yeah. Right. So um, is the upstairs room like the main area or is that also another function room? No, no, main, that's the main, the main area. area. So like mm. you don't, but then if someone has a show there, then it's just the people that are invited up there. Then it's like, that's the function room, right? Like if we went upstairs, it would only be people that bought tickets up there, right? No, the randoms come in. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of those things room, where, yeah. Yeah. so what's the, so 150 capacity, do they give you 150 yeah. and then there's even more room for randoms? Nah, well, I'm sure they'd probably do like a Elton Chong thing where they'd say probably, you know, sell like 120 because I don't know, these venues think that leaving the 20 spare or 30 spares to help you know, probably walk-ins or their locals or their regulars if they've even got regulars. Yeah. But that, you know that's what, that, that, it's probably more stress if they're at literal max capacity. I'm talking like yeah, everyone's yeah. just boom, so, bunched so, up. So they always probably, it's like you said, they always undershoot to be safe rather mm. than, you know, they Overshoot. go, oh, fuck it, sell 150 because they think we're not going to do it. And then yeah. I ring them and go, dude, we're at 150. Then they go, oh, fuck, we can't let any randoms in for the rest of the night. Like, you know what I mean? This is yeah. one less stress. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, I do, I do want that fucking top room, man. That'd be so good. The stage is massive on there and shit. Really? Right? Yeah, oh, the stage is good on the top. So yeah. the top rooms, the bottom, the, our room's fucking sick, but the top room's fucking sick as well. It's like it goes far as and is shit. Is it like, elevated upstairs? Yes. yes. The stage. Yeah. It's like a big ass yeah. stage it's and proper shit. Stage, yeah. Proper stage. Um. So who knows? Then we've got uh, one just called Japan. Oh, yeah, and I have a little suggestion for the next special. I know you guys don't have any ideas. I, I think you should do, like, a Japanese-styled um, theme for the next one and just get, like, a bunch of Japanese spirits, beers, whatever, and um, play some games, mm-hmm. like, Japanese games. <laughs> and then for the rabbit, make it, like, Japanese theme so you just read things about Japan. Like, everyone has to come... Well, a fact about, oh, not, not a fact, but like just read things about Japan and then for like the guests, they can they also probably have to dress up as a samurai or something. Yeah, it would just be really cool. Like, yeah, or you could read something about the Yakuza or some shit. Like, Japan's so cool, man. I really want to go to Japan. I know um, DZ these, these always talks about, why do I call them this? Because of jazz. Thanks, jazz. Anyway, um, yeah, fucking DZ. Bro, I know how much you love Japan, and I can't wait. Like, I, I feel like you should, you guys should do a vlog when you're in Japan. Like, just yeah, Japan's fucking cool, man. Japan's yeah, it's something else. It's not a bad but idea. The mm. it's Japan. random. I mean, he must, he must be into yeah. hentai or something. Or? It's not a bad idea. We get no. like a, we get a monk, hire a monk to come on. Doesn't speak. <laughs> Doesn't fucking speak at all. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's the most boring silence. podcast. Yeah, he just sits yeah. there, but we just fucking crack jokes. You try to make him laugh. Try to make him talk. <laughs> He'll probably fucking off himself. <laughs> Why is he? He's yeah. like, fuck this. <laughs> he just gets out a little dug and does like the honorable death things. Like, yeah. fuck these cunts. <laughs> seppuku. <laughs> is that what it's called? Yeah, something like that. Oh, is it? Seppuku. Yeah, not a bad idea, dude. I mean, Japan, the Japan shit just would look cool. The aesthetic, yeah, yeah. the mm. themes and the drinks and the shit like that. Um, and I am going to Japan for my honeymoon, so. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, so that'll be next year. The Mario world looks sick. Yeah, Super Nintendo world. Super wait. Nintendo world, sorry. Dude, you can yeah, get a little man. fucking restaurant and fish your own fish. Yeah, for that's sake. exactly like, bro. Like, it's so cool, man. Um, Then we've got one, the endorsement of the Meg. I'm going to assume this is Meg. <laughs> Who else is going to be? <laughs> yeah, Jason Statham. <laughs> Zexer again. Talking about Meg. <laughs> well, it might be. Fuck. Yo, I've got a message for your oh. audience. Hey, everyone listening now, do you guys know how awesome these guys are like like when they perform they are fucking insane and if you haven't seen a show yet then you got to get yourself to a show and you're fucking lucky because as it happens they've got a show coming fucking soon it's (laughs) synergy so everybody out there get your fucking tickets now get on that goddamn bus because you know damn well if i was there i'd be doing the same fucking thing make sure you get yourselves there Buy your fucking tickets before it sells out. Don't be a dumb cunt. Mm. All right, boys. That's my promo over. Good luck with the show. Good luck with the fucking album. Speaking of the album, it comes out on the 6th, yeah? 6th of September. That's my missus' birthday. And my birthday mm. is the day before on the 5th. And that's when Ooh. I'm dropping Bonfire. That's uh, sampled Joey K on it. Yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so 
what a hell of a fucking week that's going to be. Oh, fuck yeah. You know? yes, sir. Me and you guys releasing fucking bangers. Yes, sir. Everybody better get ready for that shit too. Less fucking Buy synergy tickets, bitch. Yeah. Yes, sir. Bro, that kind, of, that kind oh, is man. just like he's a legend. I love that. That's like I don't know, bro. It's like you just radiate that energy, I love and him. you only get that back. Do you know what I mean? Fucking like a, he's a good dude, man. I yeah. love him. Fucking legend. I love working with you, bro. You're just a fucking cheers to a long friendship, man, yeah. and many more years to come. How long have we known this guy for? It's been like a, at least a year. Yeah, it feels right. like fucking forever. Feel, like, yeah, I feel like I know. It feels him like he's my neighbor down the road. Yeah, That's how much we talk and shit, man. I fucking can you imagine if we lived in the same state? The amount yeah, of man. shit we could be doing. I wonder you know, when he's um, gonna move. I did a mm. I did a song with with prop yesterday. I recorded a verse for him. It's mm. fucking sick, man. Yeah, so yeah, it just reminded me. I, I love doing features, man. I don't do enough features. People you say prop. Yeah, uh, personal space. Yeah. Oh, okay. People don't fucking hit me up, mm. man. I love doing features. Uh, it, it, it's something about doing a feature where like you it's just fun. You, yeah. Your verse just why come prop? out better. Why prop? They just come out better. Couldn't tell you to be honest. That's just his nickname. Okay. Do you know yeah. why? No, personal space, prop. This kind of yeah. sounds, oh, kinda yeah. sounds yeah. cool. Personal space, uh, answer that question if you're watching. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah, good dudes, man. Yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, people need to fucking do more features, eh? Like, everyone just People start, are start. scared because I'll fucking eat them alive on their own song. <laughs> 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 like some fucking Eminem fucking Drake shit. Straight up, bro. That's when you do a feature, your verses just come out better. Yeah, because you go yeah, hard, eh? You, you go right, hard. Like, up. yeah, that's sick. Um, okay, that... That does us for Community, community corner. corner. Now we don't have a jingle for Community Corner. No, we don't. Low key That's jingleless. That's jingleless. I am going to come up with a jingle for the Reddit corner, which is oh, is that where we're going now? Yeah, a bit more That's content first, then I think we'll get it. Yep. Um, I'm also going to get for Reddit corner. I'm going to get a hat of t- made of tin foil. You're going to wear one of those propeller hats. Yep. Like the boo, <laughs> and then you're going to wear a goofy hat too. I'll play a goofy ass banjo intro for the Reddit retards, and then that will be our uh, that's our segment. But I'll come up with that. I was gonna do it today, but I was too busy trying to fucking come up with a drop for this fucking song. <laughs> it's been kill- it's been eating me alive. Now you oh. gave us a topic you wanted to because yes. you did send me a weird video, which was fucking fr- that was pretty pretty freaky. Which one was video. it? Again? The one with the fucking the chicks walking in the and then she's filming herself and she sings and then she starts running to the house and she's filming and then the guy's standing there and he morphs into like Dude. when the other thing comes. Yes. That's that's why I wanted Skip to come walkers. with this because yeah. I don't know. So Appalachia, Appalachia, however the fuck you want to say, Appalachia. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Appalachia, Appalachia. <laughs> Appalachian Mountains, right? <laughs> These motherfuckers. So many people are mad right now. <laughs> no, well, no, well, on TikTok, a lot of them say Appalachia. Oh, okay. A lot of them say we don't say Appalachia; it's Appalachia. Oh, <laughs> like okay. it's okay. like it's like almost like a fake. It's like an American trying to put on an American accent. That's what their accents sound like, oh, okay. right? These fucking mountain well, goat Well, they're fuckers. also in Can- Canada. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the mountain the range. I didn't realize how long they run mm. through. They yeah. run through a lot of places, yeah. man. Yeah, it's yeah. It's fucking big. So the thing is, right, is that with these motherfuckers is that you don't, it's only people that live there that have these stories. So the rest of us on the comments are either going, dude, this is bullshit. Or there's other people that live there apparently and go, yeah, dude, this shit's weird. So you don't know if it's like some big hillbilly inbred joke that they've got going on and they're just fucking with us or there actually is weird shit happening over there. Um, and it, and then that TikTok I sent you, and I've seen so many TikToks in those mountain ranges of people. Like I've seen one, right? Again, I don't know. You don't know if this shit's fake or not, but I've seen one where it was two chicks, right? Their car, they're driving through the mountains or whatever. They're going somewhere. It's nighttime, obviously. And then their car like breaks down or something or they're, they're like so they're on the side of the road like one of them's like squatting and trying to do a pee or something and then all of a sudden while they're recording and laughing and shit they just kind of stop they're like what the fuck and then you can just hear like <whistles> like something's whistling at them and straight away they just start running jump in the car lock the doors and shit and then they're like look at it like dude they're trying to start the car because they're shitting themselves and then as they start the car, you just, she turns the camera and there's this like something bot, like out the window of the fucking car, bro. And then it just, they just start driving and screaming. And everyone in the comments is like, yep, number one of number one rules. If you hear whistling or if you hear someone calling out your name, no, you didn't. Yeah. If you, if you think you see someone, you know, in the woods, no, you didn't. Like, it's just weird shit like that. Like rules where they got to keep all of them. At night, as soon as it hits dark, you close all your windows. If you hear someone knocking on your windows, you don't open the blinds. If you hear someone knocking on your door and you're not expecting a guest, don't open the door. Just shit like that. And I'm like, these kinds of got to be fucking with us, right? Like they got to be. So that's what made me kind of choose this topic. Um, Joey K, show us what you did. You figure out how to save posts or I screenshot. I just screenshot it. Okay, so I'm going to show you this right now, right? So just so 
Uh, okay, here you go. So, say you've got the Fred right. You click the free buttons. Save. Did you, so the free buttons, Joey. The free buttons. Yep. Click it. You hit save. Then you just click your little profile picture and go to saved. Oh, yeah. And that's, uh, that's where all the Freds go. So you don't have to screenshot them. All right? So you, you start us off, Joey. I've got a few here. Some of them are long, though, so you've got to That's got to okay, but this is, again, them. we got, no, we got, yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got this is a segment, you know what I mean? We're time, here for, a, time, we're for a long time and a good time, you know what I mean? So, um, okay, so, uh, once I was with a girl on Big Frog Mountain, which is obviously somewhere <laughs> in there, at dusk, miles away from anyone, we decided to walk up a trail when right behind the car, I stepped in a mud puddle with odd looking light brownish water. I pointed the, to the unusual colour to her. Then we started walking. Not far up the trail, she started getting scared and we went back to the car. In the car, we started making out, ooh, lesbian, lesbian lovers, mm. um, while lying in the front seat. And she had her hand draped around the window. I felt an odd sensation in my back. It had happened before when people were behind me. What? It had happened before when people were behind me and told her to pull her hand in which she did. A few minutes later, I felt the sensation in my back again, but I felt more urgent. I rolled up her window, but being as horny, uh, being a horny ass teenager, continued with the makeout session. A few minutes later, it felt like someone had stuck a live wire to my back. I sat up, started the car and headed back down the mountain. She was obviously confused and anxious and asked me what was wrong. I replied that I didn't know, but something was definitely wrong. So something was out there somewhere. We went back to my parents' house and we ass- and they was assured by them that we were okay. Having calmed down some, some, we ate a little dinner, then started to leave. After I opened the car door for her, I walked around the back of the car. While walking, I glanced at the back of the car and saw handprints the same color of the mysterious mud puddle on the car. The last one was over the back window and it was obvious someone was watching us. While, inclined, while inching their way to the front driver's side window. When I saw the handprints, it was like being hit with a lightning bolt and I knew what had happened. Cold chills ran over me. I got her out of the car and as soon as, soon as I saw the prints, she knew too. This story is the absolute truth, so help me and I will never forget it. Hmm. So she's saying she has some sort of spidey sense and she can sense when someone's behind her. But is that a spidey sense or is that like I another like supernatural? Because uh, uh, many people, n- not even just referring to Appalachian Mountains here, but... Uh, yeah, most people get that feeling. More, like when you a lot of, a lot yeah, of people like, get yeah. some sensation. But she was describing it like it's a strong fucking... Which is well, might be possible. I'm not saying it's bullshit, but yeah. it's just interesting. Well, it is Reddit at the end of the day, but I f- still feel like uh, seeing those handprints... Mm. Mm. Yeah, I feel like we're missing the main point of the story. The main point of the story is that they were being about to either get raped or fucking murdered by some someone. Yeah. See, it's shit like that that you, I just see so many stories about the Appalachian Mountains. It's like I kind of we should go do a fire casting. I don't know there. if I'd last there, bro. I, I don't reckon I'd be well, able I'd to be, stay there. I'd be shitting uh, myself. Yeah. I would actually shit myself. I don't think I'd be able to sleep. I'd be like, I'd have to do a lot of coke or something. <laughs> <laughs> like definitely I'd not ha- mushrooms. I'd have yeah, to just yeah, yeah definitely not mushrooms. No, no I'd want to yeah. stay aware and alert at yeah. all times. We need Man. a we need a guy like a guide with a rifle, a shaman or something. Yeah, I don't know if Coke would make oh, you we'll more anxious. Oh, we'll bring Raz, Raz the gay shaman. He will oh, guide yeah, us. Yeah, 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 for sure. And then he I feel gets like two off his head on the gear. I and feel like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. for yeah. some weird reason, I feel like nothing bad could happen if he's there. It's so weird. You know how there's people that just provide like a. Like a, a calm, and oh, you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah. it's like usually in the movies, right? If Raz was in a movie, he's one nothing's that happening to yeah, that guy, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So I'm sticking close to wherever Raz goes. But it, I don't know if, if we can survive the night in the Appalachian Mountains, we're gonna have to ask Shaman Raz that. Mm. Um, so I've got one, right? I've got a few. One of them was, um, uh, where is it? Uh, oh, okay, um, uh, so this one, I've got to kind of scour through the, um, yeah. Uh, I've got to, so the, po- the post is, right, it's, do people who actually live in the Appalachian Mountains actually lock their doors, windows, take extra security measures, close their curtains at sundown? Uh, if so, why? Um, then he just goes to say, yeah, obviously, like everyone else who doesn't live there, you see so much TikToks and stories that you don't know if it's true or not. And, um, um, and then some people say, 
uh, yes, um, always, but also be aware that animals like bobcats, foxes, baby coyotes, they have human-like screams. So all those videos that you fucking hear like, like in the middle of the night, it's scary as fuck. It more than likely is an animal. Yeah. So I didn't know that. Again, this is just Reddit post though. So this guy could be just fucking making shit up. He's no, that's like, true. That's, that sounds that's believable, true. right? They, they do um, sound like that. Uh, another one says, um, yep, my grandma lived there her whole life and always swore that every night it felt like someone was trying to get into the house. Um, she had, you know, obviously multiple encounters with bears and stuff, but um, yeah, not like she, it was just a feeling that she always had. Fuck, I would move quick, mm. fast. I'd yeah. be gone. If, yeah. if that's, I got any spooky feeling in the house, yeah. I'd be- It'd be the shortest horror movie ever. Yeah. Um, then we've got, uh, then you've always got that one guy too that comments that goes, lived there my whole life and this yeah. has never happened I've and this has been great. Those. And yeah, yeah. he's the cunt scaring everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's but, the but, one leaving the handprints mm. on the car. Yeah, yeah. Um, at what point though are you getting these feelings because it's got such a mm. You've done it to yourself. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, because even like a haunted house, right? Someone died, oh, not haunted, but if someone died in the house, right? You, it's like, I feel like you think that there's a spirit in there, right? And even if there isn't, I feel like your mind sometimes, like, do you remember when you're growing up and at, at night, I would be fucking freaked out, like, like full in the dark, and I'm like, and then sometimes I couldn't sleep. I'd, I'd hear something, like the, a floor and, creak, yeah, and it's, but it's, spooks it's just structural, right? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's a cold night and the timbers are kind of contracting and yeah. expanding slowly. And, and I'm just thinking, Bro, like, when am I going to see yeah. that hand? When, when I was young, one time I was scared of Michael Jackson. I, he, used to fuck, <laughs> he used to scare me, bro. And one time I was in my room asleep and I was shitting myself. I remember vividly I was thinking about Michael Jackson. I was scared. All right, and I was, I was just, like, that, relax, that house was fucking haunted though. Bro. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No. I was terrified, right? And then my, my cat came in and jumped on my feet and I shit my pants, bro. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll never forget that <laughs> night. cat started going, it's the thriller. Yeah, right. yeah, that, that terrified Did you see the thriller? Was it because of the thriller video? I don't know. I don't know. He's or is it because getting, of how he looked he near looked the end? He looked fucked up. He yeah, looked yeah, fucked like, up. Dude, that, that house, my yeah. mum still swears to this day that house wasn't haunted, but I've got yeah. multiple witnesses from multiple friends said that they experienced some weird shit you in know, that house. At the time, I never realised until you said it. But then right. when you said it, and then I think back on all my experiences, right. I've put two and two together. I'm like, damn, it must have been haunted. The big, but, and no, it definitely was haunted. I had a few hey, scary fucking experiences. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Dude, you literally. It was definitely haunted because I actually, a guy that went to our school lived there or his grandma lived there. And it got to the point where me and the boys, because like he wasn't in our friend group. He was in my year. I'm not going to say names, obviously. And he was in- Say it. He was in um, a different friend group. And it just got to the point where so much shit was happening. We had to sleep over there and we had this such a- we I'll never forget this encounter, bro. I think it was like me, Brad, someone else, Jai, Rick. I can't remember. Um, we were upright. And we, back in- This is when you're the age where you're doing benders, but you're not getting on any gear or smoking weed. We're literally just sober bendering. Sleepover. Sleepover style. Sucking you, each other off. You might- Yeah, suck each other off. Yeah. You might sneak a beer or two in the room, but that's it. We weren't doing any- like, No drugs, no nothing. So this is how I know this is true, like legit. And we're upright and it's about- We're, we're at 4 a.m., right? And we're, we're still just talking. We're talking about girls and just doing typical teenage boy shit. And then we just start hearing pots and pans- ruffling around and then the kitchen door opening and closing and we're like what the fuck i'm like fuck that's weird i'm like mum's up early as fuck last week well whatever nothing to it the next still i don't know if mum's fuck with me she claims she doesn't the next morning i'm like mum, what were you doing up so early she goes what do you mean i didn't get up at all and we went nah i was like seriously i'm like did you get up or no and she goes no nah, i slept like a rock and i'm like what? i'm like what the fuck bro it got to the point where i asked the guy i'm like dude this is gonna sound weird but that house Anything weird, any deaths? And he goes, yeah, yeah, my grandma actually did pass in that house. And I was like, okay, 100%. Then that's, it was her fucking with us and at the place. There was another time where I was sleeping or something or something. I don't know if I was going to sleep or whatever. And I heard a woman so vividly scream in my ear, like, help me or scream. A woman scream. Yeah. And I shit myself. And we had our Wella come over and do like a fucking cleansing on me and shit and everything. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I heard that so vividly. It never happened since. Nothing like that. Yeah, a woman screaming that clearly. Yeah. Because grandma, our yeah. grandma's a witch. She's into yeah. like gypsy type shit. Yeah. Um, and then there was also a situation where one of my old best mates at the time, Jai, fucking good guy, 
same thing. We're doing, doing a sleepover, and the cunt just all of a sudden got. This is like probably two a.m. Probably two a.m. One a.m. He all of a sudden just gets fucking spooked, and he like gets up, and he just turns. He just turns white. And we're like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, are you fucking around, or are you just doing doing porkies? And he goes, dude, what the? F-? He goes, someone just was at the window at my window, and I was like, this cunt's fucking with us. And then, bro, he swears to this day he saw a woman's face come into the window. And we were like, dude, what the fuck? And mum still to this day reckons nothing happened at that house. Well, speaking of this is Reddit story is uh, along those lines from the Appalachian Mountains. So someone says, I was in Northern Mass just about a day or so from crossing over into Vermont. It was a bright, clear day and I was on a long, straight stretch of pines with no real hills to obscure my sight. About 100 yards ahead of me, I noticed a guy with an old school giant framed backpack and short 70s style gym shorts. Kind of peculiar, but not really surprising. He was stopped on the trail, turned around, saw me, and then walked off to the left side. When I got to where he was standing, I looked out to where he was and saw nothing. The trees were thin and spread out. Kind of reminded me of pine barrens. So it was definitely strange. Never saw him again for the rest of the trail. I'm sure it was just a random guy out section hiking, but his pack and clothes really made my imagination run wild. Also heard stories about a ghost in that particular area, but not sure if they were just telling me this to mess with me after this fact. Also, Mm -hmm. just past the ferry in Maine, I had a dog-sized black cat. No, that's just a different story about... And then someone commented under that, I had a very similar Mm -hmm. experience around the same area. What colour was the guy's pack? So Mm. that's the ghost that haunts the Appalachian Mountains. And if it's the trees I'm thinking about, it's the ones that look like rows of trees with big gaps in between Mm. every row. Slender man trees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you'd be able to kind of like see something. He'd disappear. See, I've never to this day um, experienced anything like No ghostly experiences. No, no. but I've heard about heaps. Like I've heard about uh, my uncle would say like – this story that he told. Do you know how old he's told the same story? And like by the time you grow up, you've heard it a thousand yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he he felt this like <clears throat> presence over him, and then he couldn't he couldn't breathe. S- probably sleep paralysis. But he swears to this day that all when he couldn't breathe, all the hairs on his arms and his pubes and shit stood up. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, <laughs> very, I, I mean, say, I mean, maybe if he was naked, I'm his sure his pubes, pubes like, stood up as well. He's got yeah. that many as well. It's like it's static like, electricity. Yeah. <laughs> his fucking dick went back to the 70s. <laughs> yeah, but no, but like uh, he literally, his, his arm hairs literally stood up. You really and he ruined could, the mood. Eh? <laughs> but he, could, he literally couldn't move or breathe and, he, and his arm hair stood up and then after a while, he breathed, he could breathe and his hairs just dropped. Mm. And like he would see like shit after that. In, uh, he reckons in the shower, like the steam, he'd clear the steam. And then I'm like, surely not. He'd see like a figure. Like, you know how when you see those pictures online where you go, what do you see? Hold, look, stare, stare at the dot and then look at a wall. And then you, when you blink your eyes, you see like- A picture of Jesus or something. Yeah, or yeah. something. He reckons it was like a faint outline of a face, but it almost looked like, it wasn't just like you're, like, you're literally standing there. Mm. It's like a within the fog- the mm. fog was that was drying up looked like a face. Do you know uh, what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the mist, all the, the mist, steam, the yeah. outlines of a face. But that's that's stories of like you know. Mm. But I've never, I've mm. never experienced that. But some, a part of me has wanted to, but only for a bit. Like I'd never do the Ouija board, uh, even no, though because yeah, no, 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 I'm no. half in, half out of the whole supernatural thing. If I'm honest, but there's so many experiences that I'm like, I'm trying to think. Like even I love tin for hat. I love thinking like this and that. But then I'm like, what's the you know, what's the reasonable, like, what's the scientific this, explanation? Right? When, when I was young at that house, I'd get sleep paralysis sometimes, mm. but I didn't know what it was at the time until I was older. It yeah. was sleep paralysis. And now, lately, I've, as an adult, I've only had almost sleep paralysis. You know, when you get yourself out of it, like, it's yeah, just yeah, about you, feel you it still, coming, you, yeah. you, but then it stops. I've never had it since. Mm, like, yeah. Touch wood, because that shit is fucking scary. That'd be right? scary, yeah. It's terrible, man. And yeah. I was trying when I was young. I try to you try to scream and you can't, and you just you fuck. Dude. You see something in the corner and you can't do nothing. Oh, it's like, bro. Up, bro. I used to have. Uh, I was having sleep paralysis so often and so much to the point where I knew I was about to have one. Oh, so you're and, going and to I, bed? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can you both. Same with Chloe. You can ask Chloe all this shit, right? This is all legit. She used to get them too. And um, I, I'd be, I'd literally got to the point where I gave up trying to fight it. I'd just get in bed. I'd be like, yep, go on my phone for a bit, go on Facebook and that. Can't wait to get scared. And then I'd literally just go, 
all right, here we go. Oh. And then I'd, just, I'd like, lay there. Yeah, yeah, swear to God. And then I'd lay there. And you know when it'd always be? It'd always be, I'd start off on one side. It'd always be when I rolled over to go to the next side is when it'd get me. And I'd be stuck on my back, right? And I knew it was coming. So I'd go, I'd be, I'd be getting tired. I'm getting tired. And then I'm like, fuck, I want to roll over. I'm like, no, don't, don't roll over, bro, because you're going to get into it. I'm like, <laughs> fuck, but I really, I'm uncomfortable now. So I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to try to do it quick. I'd roll over, boom. Instantly stuck into it, yeah. and then I could hear voices yeah. like voices. Sleep paralysis demons, like, like I'm yeah. back, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it was it, intense to the point where like I just accepted, it. like I just accepted my losses. I'm like, yeah. I'm some some people see the silhouette man. Some people see an old raggedy girl, uh, lady, like a mm. with like an old dress on or whatever. Uh, certain people see like similar shit. Isn't it fascinating that they don't know why? They don't know what yeah. that is. They don't know what. My, my theory is like, my theory is kind of. I would say it's the it's like. Your body's waking up, but you're you're in that state where because your body literally like when you dream your 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 body literally paralyzes just so it's like a safety mm. safety mech so your body can't move yeah your body's asleep but your brain's awake yeah, yeah yeah but then it's like when you wake up and you're kind of still in dreamland your body's you're, still asleep you're still yeah. in your room you know you're in your room but mm. you're like you're seeing kind of like you know, shit that's supposed to be left in the dream you, you time know, in your reality that, a little bit. That silhouette man is with the hat is real shit, bro. You should look that up on Reddit. So, because, right, I had an experience once at Rose's house, old house, um, where I think I told it once on the podcast, but I went upstairs to get something and I was, they were all downstairs. I went upstairs to get something and I seen something in the corner of my eyes go like to the side of the bed and the wall. Mm. And it was so vivid that I was like, what the fuck? So I started looking under the bed to see what the fuck I just saw. Mm. Cause it wasn't like in the corner of my eye, like I seen something. Classic rookie horror movie. movie. So yeah. I went under the bed, whatever I didn't see. I was like, well, that was fucking weird. Went downstairs and later that night, that same night I had a dream where I was in like my <laughs> primary school street but it was empty, like an empty video game lobby. Like, mm. you know, empty. It just felt like me there and the silhouette man. That's huh. all it was. It was just us two there. And it was literally <laughs> like, uh, it was fucking crazy. And he's and, like right on time. And I, I beat him though. I remember in the dream, I kicked his ass. I don't remember what the fuck happened, but it was like something with the car or something. But that was fucking, that, mm. was, that was significant. Yeah. And then we cleanse the house the next day and shit. And everything. That's what I was it's always a silhouette the, man with the, the brim hat. That, that's man. what I was saying. So my, my clinical mm. brain goes, okay, my logical brain goes, all right, it's it's serious, it's chemical, it's like you'd, it's chemical, it's like your body, whatever. But then how come it's the same thing mm. across the board? Because it could be just now mass, mass no. human oh, placebo. No. There's something Because now everyone started no. talking about it. People no. have a dream. No. They just see a figure and go, oh, dude, it's a silhouette man. Because I was always skeptical well, too. Mm. But Or it no. could be like uh, Stranger Things where there's, uh, there's like an upside down where all the – the scary, hideous shit lies. I think that's more likely. Isn't I it? think Parallel. it's like a dimension. There, there is something that cross. exists, but yeah. They they're like, cross. Yeah, they're like, they're in the, you know, fucking horror mm. land and then DZ Sometimes comes. Sometimes they cross over. Eh? You should look that up on Reddit, man. The Brim, the Shadow Man, bro. There'll be heaps of shit. Oh, that'd heaps be heaps. Of heaps of shit. Yeah, it's fucking freaky. That man. could be that could be a fucking whole topic, to be honest. Just Iggy, um, It's actually Iggy with a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I've got one that says, my girlfriend and I were chased by a satanic cult. In the Appalachian <laughs> Mountains, yeah, fuck. right? Again, if this is made up, man, <laughs> this guy has. This could be a novel because this is long. So buckle up, kiddies. Buckle, everybody, buckle, buckle up, up, please. Buckle up, please. Put your grab your papa toms and buckle keep up. Keep your hands and feet inside the car at all times, please. Okay, this happened in the summer of 2017. My girlfriend and I, from St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada, both attended u- university there. Decided to take a road trip through the United States. Destination was Miami, Florida. Her family owns a condo near the beach. So we had free accommodation, etc., etc. We decided to drive instead of fly because we wanted to see a bit of the country on the way down and visit some friends. Usually, The trip usually takes about 20 to 24 hours by car non-stop. So we we're planning on making multiple stops. The first part of the trip was wonderful experience. Went shopping, all this stuff. However, we, once we hit West Virginia, things changed. It was nothing but endless wilderness and few small towns sprinkled in between. We had plans to meet up with some friends for dinner in Charlotte, North Carolina, so we wanted to go through West Virginia ASAP. We only made stops when we absolutely needed to. Ended up stopping for gas at a pretty remote spot. My girlfriend and I get out of the car, started pumping gas, and she goes inside the washroom to pick up some snacks. My tank was half full when I heard a voice behind me say, hey, are you guys lost? I looked behind me and saw a middle-aged white man with long, messy brown hair that reached down to his shoulders and an unkept beard with dashes of grey that looked like drops of dried-up mucus. 
His clothes, his clothes were torn up and dirty, and he smelt like a mixture of beer, sweet peas, and shit. <laughs> he was a little. Wow. Over, he was li- had sweet peas. For he was a little overweight, but pretty tall. I'm six foot, and he was about four inches taller than me. The teeth that he did have were very yellow, like a yellowy brown. On his right cheek, under his eye, was a tattoo of some pentagram. I'm pretty sure into I'm pretty into YouTube videos and crimes and and stuff like that, and um, so I was able to recognize this uh, s- pentagram quickly. Um, I was I was able to recognize what it was pretty quickly. He was standing very close to my face to the point where I could smell his breath. It was making me dizzy. <laughs> no, sir, just passing through. I said, not too often we see tourists passing through these parts. He responded, "Where you headed?" As he said this, he moved even closer than he was before. I had to back up against my car and I couldn't move any further. I wanted to get away from this guy as quickly as possible, but the car was still filling up with gas and my girlfriend was still inside. I don't want this dude to know where we were really going, so I told him we were visiting family in Kentucky. Um, After I said this, he cracked a weird half smile, opening his mouth just wide enough for me to get a look at his teeth again. I'll never forget that face. His bloodshot eyes were staring deep into my soul and he let out a weird laugh. He said, how lovely. I'll see you kids around and walked away. I was very relieved when he walked away, but also terrified at his last remarks. I didn't even see when we pulled up. I didn't even see him when we pulled up to the gas station. So how did I know that he was that I wasn't alone? I figured he must have been watching my girlfriend and I when we arrived. The car was finally filled up, and my girlfriend was back walking towards the car with the snacks. I noticed the weird guy was still at the gas station. He was a few pumps away from us, leaning up against an old red pickup truck, just like the movies. But to my utter discomfort, he wasn't alone. There were two other men and one woman with him, making the group a total of four. Um. So then, that he just begins to say that um, you know, we 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 leave as we pulled around to the exit. I noticed, I noticed a pentagram painted on the hood of their car. The four people begin to get in their truck as as they saw us leaving. I knew straight away that they were following us. I explained the girlfriend their situation to my girlfriend, and we were trying to speed away. We were zooming down the road, and I looked at my rear view, uh, view mirror, and as expected, the red truck was chasing us behind us. I sped up even more, and they did too. I made a left; they did as well. I made a full U turn, and they f- were following. My girlfriend got finally got reception and dialed nine one one. We gave the operator the location, and they gave us directions to the nearest police station. Um, they had no license plate, so we couldn't share this information with the operator. Uh, once we were off the phone with them, my girlfriend stuck her cell outside the window and started pointing at it, letting the creeps know that we called the cops. Um, they finally realized what we were trying to say and they stopped following us. We end up going to the police station, extremely shaken but relieved. Um, uh, then he begins to say, yes, this is a fucking long ass post. Oh, I almost finished actually. This is a long ass post. Um, uh, Oh, uh, sorry, I lost myself. Hold on. Um, yeah, uh, we thought we were shaking. Group, uh, relieved. All we wanted to do at that point was get the hell out of West Virginia. We thought we had shaken the group for good, but unfortunately, we were wrong. We decided to drive through that. We decided to drive through the night to cover as much ground as possible. So this is probably after they've gone to the police station. The area of Appalachia had no street lights, and we could only see was what my headlights were. Everything was fine until I noticed two headlights in my rear view mirror. At first, I didn't think anything on it, but I kept an eye on it. The headlights got closer and closer until they were tailgating us. To my complete shock and horror, it was the same red pickup truck. These people had somehow found us again, and they were right behind us. It's then we start panicking. We call 911 again. I put the pedal to the middle. All we cared about was escaping. Um... Then a mile up the road, my girlfriend yells out, watch out, there were three dead cows blocking the narrow road. I slammed on the brakes and the red trick, the red pickup truck was right behind us and we couldn't go forward. We knew we fell into a trap. All of a sudden, a naked man wearing a goat mask darted out from the woods and began hitting our car with what looked like a large axe. The naked man got on the hood of our car and started making sheep noises. My girlfriend was still on the phone to 911, but all she could do was scream. The people behind us got out of the red truck and began walking towards the car. Two of them had rifles and one of them had a large machete. I knew what I had to do. I put the car into reverse and floored it. The naked man flies off the hood. We smashed into the truck and I managed to knock it into a ditch. After the truck was out of the way, I pulled the fastest U-turn of my life to get out of there. The people were yelling kinds of obscenities at us as we were driving away. Um, back to the police station to file more reports. We were both thankfully uninjured, but uh, but extremely traumatized. The car was still drivable after that. So we just the next day got the fuck out of West Virginia. 
Um, the entire experience has made me and my girlfriend scared to do any more road trips. See, wow. my 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 bullshit meter was going off at the start, and then I started going, mm. well, maybe. And then after the second time, my bullshit meter started going off again. Mm. I did, really, the the dead pigs and the making sheep noises. And the, if you reverse into a car, <coughs> is it really going to get knocked into the ditch? It could if you hit it hard Maybe, enough. I, I'm, look, it could be possible. It could be possible. See, to me, that is but such a I think that's wild like, thing yeah. to make well, up, but man. That's, but that's less of a... But ap- people do that on Reddit. Yeah, they, they use it as like an outlet, yeah. a creative outlet. Yeah. Yeah, and you can tell if they get very descriptive. Descriptive, their, like, yeah. Like, his... his his breath smelt like sweet peas. Yeah, and like yeah, sweet, yeah, sweet peas. Yeah, but exactly. That, but I feel like that's less of a, a supernatural Appalachian Mountains thing rather than it they is know, just an just American said, problem. Yeah, they just got chased. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bunch of West they Virginia just folk chased. just, yeah. Like creeps. Well, I mean, well. but then you do have stuff like the Manson family that happened and there's weird groups yeah. and weird people out there. So, yeah. But I feel like maybe that's just a creative dude having mm. a little creative. Yeah. I believe him. Uh, yeah. You'd believe anything, man. I believe him. <laughs> Can I do one more? Could be. This, this could is be a, this is a quite a simple one, mm-hmm. and it's not too overdone. Where I'm like, no. but uh, on a, one time on our anniversary, my boyfriend and I rented a cabin somewhere in Blue Ridge, GA. What's that? Georgia. Maybe Georgia. Maybe uh, the trail end of the Appalachian Mountains. What they just told me. So it's at the trail end of the Appalachian Mountains. <laughs> we get there, and it's nice. The cabins aren't really placed in the woods, but rather overlook, in, overlook the woods, meaning there's no trees around the cabin and the forest is actually below the cabin down a very steep hill. It was super cute and cosy, and when night came, it was still just fine. I'm a little superstitious, and so is my boyfriend, so we more or less understand those unspoken rules of the forest. But my boyfriend got a wild hair and jokingly let out the shortest, faintest whistle into the night filled trees. We went back inside and I locked all the doors and windows and drew the curtains and eventually we went to sleep. I remember drifting off to sleep when I heard those solid, th- uh, heard three solid knocks on the front door, oh. evenly spaced, loud and clear. Yeah. I ignored it and decided it was the ice maker in the fridge. And after a while longer, I thought I heard rain and I thought it was so atmospheric and cozy to be in the cabin w- with my BF while it rained perfect ambience for sleep and then it dawned on me there wasn't enough raindrops for it to be rain and the raindrops seemed to travel from one side of the roof to the other it wasn't rain something was walking on the roof could be a possum but whatever Uh, (laughs) there was nothing else it could be the cadence of the steps and the sound being isolated to where this thing was walking i tried to explain it maybe it was an animal but no animal would hop across the roof like that at night no animal would sound so much like two feet walking. The cabin is also two stories tall and there were no trees near the cabin. The roof is flat metal with no place for an animal to nest. There was no real way for an animal to get on the roof and no reason for it to make so much noise at night. The next morning, my boyfriend asked me if he heard the noises too. Neither of us could figure out what it could have been and I didn't show back up the second night we stayed. <laughs> oh, and it didn't show, sorry, it, it didn't show back up mm. the second night we stayed. Don't make noise at night. Don't whistle. Don't sing. Don't talk. Don't yell. <laughs> you don't know what's listening. So basically, if you go to the Appalachian Mountains, be ready speak. to do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so if you go for a holiday, just sit in silence. Yeah, get a 30 story building, lock all the doors. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do for next week, right? For this segment, we're going to have, I'm going to have spooky music playing in the background. And I'm going to come up with a buzzer, like ding, or brum, brum, and we're going to, have a vote between us three if we think the story is bullshit or real. Yeah, that's a yeah, good idea. Yeah, I yeah. like that. That's what we're like going to do. That. Yeah, beautiful. That's what we're going to do. Uh, it's not always spooky, though. Yeah, We it might is get a topic that's just interesting. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I'll true. just have it there because I feel like that would have been cool if I could do mm. <laughs> We should have because we do get a bit, like, even when we talk about aliens and shit, yeah. like, you can have a... Yeah. Mm. So, we'll, we'll, so you guys listening as well, you're listening along, help us in your head. Let us know. Comment. Just help us decide. Is this shit real? Is this bullshit? Is this just fat, curly-headed nerds in their mum's basements? Sweating and going, Is that the Lucky Mountain guys fucking got chased by a man? I, 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 w- I wonder how many... That, you, that was a very good point. When they get real descriptive, I feel like they're using it as a creative outlet. Because yeah. sometimes I'm I mean? like, ooh, I never heard that word before. See, but then in saying that, it could have been such a traumatic experience that he remembers that and will remember that for the rest but, of his life but to when the you, T. But when you recount a story or you're typing a story, do you say... 
I reversed and knocked the truck. I knocked it so hard it went back into the well, ditch. And then I quickly can, did the. Can I, I've never I, been chased by I, a fucking. Yeah, but <laughs> can I second this? So what we're saying about getting descriptive, I have a bad habit. Tell me if you guys are the mm. same. I don't think you guys are, but definitely not you. So mm. when I tell stories that is that is actually true and has happened to me, example, chased by the crack, chased by the crackhead in Kingswood. It was almost like you I was doing. I, I was doing <laughs> no, but like the first time I explained it to Tori, I was very like, "Oh, what the fuck just happened? This happened. This happened." Right. The more I told people, it, it became like my my stand up comedy bit. Like <laughs> I legit was. I had it down pat to the point where I was like, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't lying. But and I wasn't embellishing the story, but I I, I became theatrical yeah, with it yeah. because it, I, I've told it that many times. I had it down to a T exactly, and sometimes I'm just like, "Is it?" So that was real, right? So I've told it that many times that these stories could be real, but they've told it that many times. They're like, "I want to make everyone feel like I they're should. there." Yeah. But on the on the other end, some people have more time to bullshit about stories, mm. and sometimes you tell you some people tell themselves a fake story so much that they actually kind of like believe even if it's not 100% that it's true like the, the conviction is there yeah so that's a good point because when you did tell that story you were pretty descriptive you were saying she was dragging the zombie she actually she was but but exactly. I was I, but like a zombie like from Walking Dead mm. I'd have things to kind of be like yes. it was like this but when yes. I came home I wasn't going Toy right you were yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I was just kind of like what just happened <laughs> exactly so do you understand yeah, it's yeah. There. you're right you're so, right you're right, right. For, so, cult story, getting chased by the cult, real or fake? I say fucking real. Yeah. I say fake. I th- I so, two mean. reals, one fake? Yeah. All right. Real Bing. it is. Real it is for that. Real See, now is. I play the song. Bing, bing. Uh, Tim Foyle had it still on. I think real, but maybe embellished. Embellished. I think maybe they mm. went, maybe they didn't go for round two. Maybe they went, but what would have happened if they chased us again? <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I yeah. still but think I, real. I, I don't think that's really... Like, I don't know, but it also seemed like the start of like Wolf Creek or something. You know how like Wolf Creek, how the, the, well, that that's guy. What, that's what all the, cause I'm in the comments like, this sounds a lot like the uh, plot line for like fucking yeah, Chainsaw Massacre. Or something. Yeah, yeah. If, if they left it at the first time they left the police station, I would have been like, mm, yeah. Yeah. but the second time that that's where I kind nah, of see, felt that like. That makes uh, it more believable uh, for me. The, the three like, dead cows trap. Was, yeah. That was a bit, I was like, so three dead cows went, so they no, no, they so knew you were gonna travel down that road when you had already left, and they and killed they, they killed yeah, three cows. I mean, mm. Well, you haven't heard stories of people like that's why they always say if you're driving at night and you see like someone injured or a, a, a pram or something, run over the road, and more. Yeah, no, they they literally tell you you're not supposed to stop. But your human brain goes, oh fuck, that guy might need help. <laughs> Imagine it's like, a night, some guys like, like literally dying on the side, and you you want your window down to see because you know people like like to have yeah. a sticky beak. No, you and don't, you don't even stop. You go, sorry, it's the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, <laughs> no, legit, bro, legit. Because the story, the stories people have told of they've gone to help and they get bashed, they get mugged, the car yeah. gets stolen. Well, some people maybe uh, plant yeah. like traps, so they're like, oh, 100%. Like, that's how they trigger. One hundred percent. You're not supposed to stop. That's yeah. why I'm dreading the day I'm mm. driving and I see like a pram there in the middle of the night. I'm like. There's no way there's a baby in there. Yeah. Well, I'm not getting out. I'm yeah. sorry to say right now, I'm yeah. not getting the fuck out of yeah. that car. I'm, I'll am i call the cops, but I'm not getting out or stopping. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm shit, not, it's I'm a baby. Not, I'm, I'm definitely not the hero in the horror movie. I'd like yeah, to nah. think I am, but I'm that guy that like hides behind like, like yeah. the cupboard yeah, or get something. Get him, get him, get him. And I come out at the end and I'm like, <sighs> like and I, I take part credit for it. I'm like, <laughs> we, we did it. So what about your story? Uh, possum on the roof, real or fake? That I sounds more believable. That, sound, that sounds more real. believable, but mm. and then the fact that I thought it was an animal, but then they're saying it's a two-story house. First of all, animals can climb. Yeah, but like you know, I know what he's saying. Usually, possums are where trees are overhead and they leap down onto yeah. the roof and whatever. Yeah, um, but it's like, man, that shit seems kind of believable. I don't think they even have possums. They don't have our possums. They got opossums. You know, yeah, they got the scary ones. ones. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, oh. they're ground. They're, I think they're on the ground. They don't climb. Oh, uh, okay. No, I'm they? pretty sure they climb, man. And they're big yeah. ass motherfuckers. Maybe. See, Mini, uh, our friend Mini, fucking he he was telling me I went to do a bit of electrical work at his the other day. He was telling me at the back of his, he has to take every loose item or glass or anything from out the back because if he, you leave a cup or something like that, you finish having a drink, you leave a glass cup by the barbecue or whatever. It'll just you wake you wake up the next day and it'll be smashed on the ground. He, he reckons oh, heaps really? of wow. possums just have a little rave in the backyard. And they, <laughs> they literally go everywhere, bro, like crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. yeah, opossums definitely climb. Oh yeah, they're, they're ugly fucking. They're things, scary, man. Yeah, they're they got pink fingers fell. and shit. Yeah, they're gross, bro. They're like rats. 
All right, so we've got two reels. Let us oh. know in the comments. I believe I'm a believer. Some stories are, I'm just like, this guy's fucking like, yeah, just some of the shit you see. Like, yeah. But it's not about the validity of yes. Reddit. That's not what this that's, is about. It's about, it's, point it's about sparking story. conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that was a good topic. I like it. Yeah. Uh, so who's going next for next week? I'll go. I'll go. Oh, no. Do you want to go around the table? No, you, uh, you, you go. Okay. We'll go this way. We'll go okay. that way. Because I don't got nothing. Okay. I'll so go. you got to come up with a topic. Yeah. So remember, you guys can save them on your phone. Yeah. All right? So you don't have to screenshot them and shit. The three dots, baby. Three yeah. dots, save. And. That is a great success for our first uh, Reddit corner. I like it. Reddit corner. Everything's in the corner. Everything's in the corner. Everything's in the corner. But it makes sense because we're in a corner. We're in a corner. And news you can trust. news you can trust. Only believe what we say. <laughs> I'm actually fucking jacked. Fucking Look earth. at that shit. Did you guys <sighs> see they found water on Mars? Actual water on Mars, but it's very deep, very deep below the surface. Like in the crater, you can't even down. drill down to get to modern it. technology. But it's there is water on Mars. Hmm. Listen, that's the beach. You, you got to go for a dip. You got to just get, <laughs> get like a fucking a fucking tube. It's <laughs> like they had a there was a graph. Uh, I can't remember the distance, but it's super deep. They can't even drill to it with modern technology. But they full on discovered there's water on Mars, which has made it. Very more plausible that Elon can, Musk can accomplish actually building a fucking thing, man. Elon Mao. And very, it's probably very, life very, down there. Very more plausible. Imagine yeah, if a no. scientist <laughs> went, uh, we think it's very more, more plausible. plausible. Yeah, no, I was, <laughs> well, was going to say very more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah I Elon I'm, that, I'm that guy where I do, I do it myself, right? I fuck up with words, but I'm that guy that when someone else does it, I'm like, here. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, well. <laughs> well, Elon Musk still has to fucking survive his trial by combat against the Venezuelan fucking president, <laughs> president. first before he can go fucking ed- doing anything in Mars. Mm. Well, uh, back to this. That's another fucking topic, I guess. But uh, this water, like, is, there, is that, is the point of finding it to be like, there's, there's more possibilities that we could eventually live there because there is water, even though it's very inaccessible. Like the fact that it's so deep that they can't drill to it, but they know it's there. What good does that? I wonder I, what good that does. I don't think they set out to discover it. I think it, they it, just came it across happened it. to discover it. Yeah, mm. like Pretty big news. Yeah. Imagine that. That's the start of their... They're like plumbing. They'll be like... They're mm. like to extract the water from... Yeah. They come up with some like futuristic way of like space tube getting the water up there and then making it kind of like a filtration system where it's like where it ends up how do you how do you make a little bit of water turn into a lot of water eventually do you know what i'm saying But it's a lot of water yeah it's a lot of water i saw another discovery unrelated to this discovery but they found another way a more plausible way to uh terraform mars by all they have to do is inject like a couple kilos of Martian dust into the atmosphere for 10 years and then they could possibly terraform, which is like a new scientific method. Wait, first of all, Martian dust? What's yeah, Martian? like the dust that's on Mars, like the soil that's on Mars, they pump it into the atmosphere and it can possibly create a better barrier for keeping in heat to warm oh. the planet up. Hmm. So, you know, it's really starting to look like... And terraforming is just make, it means just making it like more like developed. Like the, yeah. making it more like Earth, yeah. more habitable. Yeah, when you right. said Martian dust, I just pictured Martians like yeah. going like <laughs> pitchy dust everywhere. <laughs> Comes out their assholes. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently now Ukraine have flipped the tables on Russia and Ukraine's invading Russia. Yeah, they're taking some land, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so after all of this, Putin's getting his ass whipped. <laughs> He really underestimated them. Mm. I don't know. And then I just love the people that freak out in the comments, bro. For the past 20 years, apparently, World War Three has been starting. Yeah. <laughs> apparently. And people will actually fool shit themselves. I mean, I thought that I thought that war was like maybe slowing down by now, but like that's been going on for so long, Two man. Two years now. Two years. Almost three years. Well, the, the theory is that Ukraine has invaded these regions as a bargaining chip to put them in a better position for peace talks where Russia will say, look, because they've taken land from Ukraine, right? So if they take more land from Russia, they can kind of be in a better position. But after this, Putin said, there's no chance we're going to have peace talks now. Like, peace talks is off the table. <laughs> How are we going to peace talk with these? He's saying, he said in a speech, um, the Western handlers are waging war against us by the hands of Ukraine, by their masters. The Ukrainians are doing their masters bidding and, mm. you know, all this so shit about the Trump West. Saying that Ukraine's on the, war. you know, maybe we with the US Trump or something. Or but, the, 
it, it's funny too because Putin's saying all this shit like he didn't just invade fuck yeah. that Ukraine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a like, bit hypocritical. Yeah, like. it's like he's the guy that started. Or what when I say started it? Ukraine was uh, Soviet what, Union. Yeah, yeah, it was Soviet Union. But weren't they uh, trying to sign up to um, NATO? NATO. So yeah. that's kind of in in some ways you can say by them doing that that was threatening you know, Russia in terms of land. But I feel like Putin had his finger on the button just waiting for an excuse. Like, I wish yeah. someone would. I wish someone yeah. would. Well, this has been happening since 2014 when they annexed Crimea from Ukraine. Yeah. And yeah. it's just been tit for tat yeah. ever since. And it's the slow burn. NATO's been putting the heel on Russia too because part of the deal was that NATO wouldn't move closer and they kept moving closer. They kept inviting countries to NATO and kept putting bases and getting closer and closer to Russia and boxing them in. So then Putin's like, fucking, mm. you know, they're not honouring what we fucking spoke about. Yeah. So it's like, it's all fucking tit yeah. for tat, you know what I mean? It's just, but you just yeah. get told all the bad that Putin's done. But it is kind of ironic when, okay, he's the one that started the actual physical, yeah. you know, bombing and like wars and shit, like the war. But then... Now he's like peace talk is out of the question. It's like, oh, would you, were you even? Was it even ever? Was, <laughs> was it ever it? in the question? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. We'll see what happens when Trump gets in office. But I'm telling you, Trump, Trump. As soon as he, as soon as Trump's in office, the first thing he's doing is calling Putin and Kim Jong Un. Yeah, let's go fucking get that <laughs> and, beer, boys. And, and if Kamala, <laughs> and if Kamala gets in office, it'll oh. go the opposite way. Oh yeah, it's definitely yeah. going the opposite way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It always is at the Democrats, man. It's a fucking. Ugh. They love war. They f- yeah, they profit it's, off it's it. It's money, man. They they pu- they're all the fucking yeah. on the strings. The Democrats, yeah. they man. Bomb all the oils and the. If oil you vote for the shit. Democrats and you put them in power, you're voting for the Illuminati, the shadow government. You're just giving them, even though they probably run the world regardless. But yeah. the Democrats in power, that's like giving them the free pass to you know yeah. do it more open. But isn't the, yeah. isn't the higher ups? Uh, they have enough power to. To manipulate b- both sides, either Democrat yeah, that's what or I'm saying. Republic. Like yeah. it probably is both ways, but, but I maybe feel like Democrat- it's tougher for them with okay. the Republicans. I yeah. feel like the Republicans yeah. genuinely are a bit against the system and try to. Yeah, yeah. genuinely. That's how I feel. I'm, I don't know. I'm in it for the the shit show. I'm in it for like I don't actually follow politics to the point where like you know the laws that are being passed, mm. especially like I mean here definitely not, but it's mm. in America it's like a it's like a fucking. It's like a drama show. It's kind of like uh, Fuckboy mm. Island or something. Where you, where you're watching <laughs> something. Boy you're watching something and you're like, it's such a shit show, but you can't look away. Do you know what I mean? Like they, uh, Dude, yeah. it's a big South Park episode. I, say, I, heard some I in, love it. I heard some Indian guy. So there's this place down the road from ours called Butter Chicken, this Indian place. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, and there's this Indian dude, and he was sitting there eating, and he, on his phone, you know how the, all the oldies don't own like ear, earpods or anything. They play it out loud. So they yeah. play it out loud, which yeah. is so fucking. I'm like, oh, just that's like, <laughs> that's like as bad as I'm playing music on their yeah. phone while they walk through the yeah. street. So I'm just like, uh, I hear Trump. He's listening to a Trump, uh, the, the Trump debate and stuff, and I'm just thinking, isn't it funny? Like, no one in America is listening to like our shit because it's just yeah. like we're just Australia, right? Yeah. But it's so we're so engulfed in it that like we know a lot about that. It's kind of strange that imagine if like we were that entertaining, right? Our p- politics and shit, mm. and then Americans were like, oh, yeah. like mm. you know, what about this? What about that? And they're talking about Dude. our politics. Thank God we're not because then yeah. we yeah, look like no. fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like fucking, we'd probably think our accent is the world English with uh, yeah. the accent. Like, you know, like we don't have accents. It's impossible to not talk about it. And it, I hate talking about it. Like I wish I didn't. I wasn't as invested in this as I have happened to be. But it's impossible, man. Like it's just. I love it. I'm all for it. It's just wild, bro. Trump makes me laugh. Yeah, Trump's funny, man. He's right. Trump's you can't. Funny. You can't have a guy leading America who can't hit a golf ball. Mm. It, yeah, he's, he's correct. He's not wrong. <laughs> Do you know his 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 handicap is two. He's got a two handicap. That's, that's he's actually busted. He, he's, he's cracked, yeah. bro. His he's, handicap's it's, two. I feel like all those old businessmen, like it's uh, golf that's is like a business do. sport, yeah. right? And yeah. then when you're that rich, of course you just like sniff coke and play golf. He's yeah. probably been playing it for sixty fucking years yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he is fucking eighty he's something 80. years old. He's man. He's, his hair's starting to go from that blood orange to like a old orange, old orange. Yeah, like a, like a bruised orange. <laughs> Uh, th- this is uh, one more thing about the Olympics is over now, right? But oh, did you see? Uh, yeah, Ra- did you see Ray Gun, the uh, the yeah. Australian oh, yeah. breakdancer? Yeah. Okay, firstly, I seen this event, right? And I was like, "What am I? What am I watching?" She was. It Dude. was like she was visibly on purpose taking the piss. Now the first questions that pop up to mind, and these these aren't like, you know. These are thoughts that everyone by now has gone over and made so many videos about and whatever. But I'm just saying my initial thoughts were like, A, isn't there tryouts or like, isn't there someone that is like, you got to represent 
our country because mm. we want to see you there, right? And is there any? Is there no shame for uh, Ray Gunn? I love what she done in terms of, you know, we're goofy, right? Australia's yeah. a goofy country. She's an Australian icon now, mm-hmm. not for the right reasons in terms of winning gold because she scored no points. The she judges got zero. <laughs> yeah, they just gave her zero. But like, no shame. But there's something, even though it was horrible to look at if you're into breakdancing, but there's something beautiful about her owning that she's yeah. rubbish and she was kind of representing. I heard somewhere she was trying to represent for the people around her demographic, her age, that are kind of like mums that aren't really cool, but they like to have a good time. And that's all well and good, right? But I feel like the Olympics, not, it's not crazy the Olympics, yeah. to put, you know, Australia, which we've done all right compared to US, obviously there's more athletes and, you know, a lot of the African-Americans have gifted physically like in running and all these other sports. So we weren't really in the running to win, but it's just crazy that they decided to put her, like I was kind of annoyed, but then I was like, oh, good for you, but also a waste of a spot. Well, it's, Cause I, I've seen a guy after from Australia, Asian guy, but Australian. And he killed it, bro. Like, he killed it. Apparently, he only scored two or something. Really? Apparently, apparently between them, they scored, like... Maybe Ray Gunn fucked it up for him. Maybe she brought it down. On what you were saying with the tryouts and things, right? This is a rumour. I don't know how true this is. I didn't look deep into it. But apparently, her husband or something is is part of the committee or something that choose. And people were upset because there's people who genuinely live and breathe breakdancing. Right, yeah. and they could have made their spot yeah. at the Olympics, but because this chick knows yeah. people, they let her take a spot, yeah. and she fu- she fucked around. Yeah, and now breakdancing is not even going to be at the next Olympics. No. Yeah, that, so that was yeah. one chance for people who love breakdancing to get their name out. To yeah, do, so she and kind and she of ruined it. it, right, for everyone else that were was passionate. I didn't know there was that much of a calling for it, to be honest. Like out Dude, here, there's, there's a calling for, for anything. everything. You can think everything. of something, and there's someone who's obsessed with it. And this is what I was going to say. I was trying to find the post. I can't find it. I wish I saved it. I've got to remember to start saving this shit when I see it. But yes, yeah, someone has a big conspiracy about Ray Gun that basically it was just for her and her husband a free trip to Paris because of whatever her husband or someone they knew. So if you technically, I don't again, I don't know if this is true, but they were saying in the post, if you look up Australia, we don't have a breakdancing committee. We've got nothing. So the people who got approached by the Olympics to represent Australia in breakdancing, it was like not even, it was like, ball, it was like the ballroom committee or something. It was like a whole different genre of dancing, of dance. But then that because they weren't into breakdancing, they got in contact with whoever the fuck it was that knew Ray Gun, and then that's how she got the spot. So there was like basically no effort on her point to make it. She just made it apparently mm. because of who she, she knew. At, at one point, she did the sprinkler. Mm. She literally yeah. at one point done the sprinkler. She was clearly taking the piss. Yeah. Whatever her reasoning was or whatever, she clearly wasn't going proper like she yeah. was making a joke of it and imagine yeah. there wouldn't have been any laughs it's not like you know how like mm. for example if you do a stand-up comedy you're telling jokes you get a laugh or you're being a bit of a clown mm. people there to see breakdancing i can't imagine there was any claps or there was nah. people going like going off it would have been so awkward at the end when the judges were like zero well and then i seen a lot of americans making tiktoks and pissed me off a little bit i was gonna comment. i was gonna <laughs> whip, out the, whip out the i was gonna comment. Comment. Yeah, yeah. i was gonna comment but i, I refrained so round of applause for me um, but there was this American guy and he's like, Australia, you're giving the world yet again another reason to laugh at you, blah, blah, blah. And then we're like, yeah, yeah. and I was <laughs> like, ass, yeah. and I went, and I was halfway through and I was like, bro, I know you black motherfucker. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I know you motherfuckers are fast, but damn, like, come on, dude. But we've done all right, man. Like we've done all right at the start, but obviously yeah, we just got out, out gunned by, you know, because we are, the thing is Australians, we are, we are talented, right? Mm. But like anything, there's like a hierarchy And for some reason, man, different people from around the world in certain areas excel better than some others. And I feel like we're we're, we're achievers, but it's just different. We're a sporting nation. Put NRL NRL in the Olympics and we win gold every time. You know what I'm saying? It's just obviously, and again, because Australia is so small. Like in America, yeah. Like Australia, yeah, as well. But in America, they're probably literally, they probably do have breakdancing committees, oh, breakdancing clubs, breakdancing groups that get yeah. together twice a week and breakdance. Here, I don't think yeah. we'd have I that just shit. got defensive like, when he was just like shitting on Australia and I was like, yeah. oh, no, yet again, and I'm like, yet again. I'm like, yeah. we, <laughs> haven't, we haven't been like embarrassing ourselves, right? Like at the Olympics. No, we haven't been embarrassing We were doing good. It was only that one fucking, it was, it was only that, Ray Gun. Yeah. you know what I mean? I do agree. I feel like, 
I, I get it. I do. What do you I, think her reasoning was? If you had to uh, guess, like, what what was her mentality going into it? So apparently, again, I read, I don't know if this is true. Apparently the reasoning was she was trying to show people to be themselves and to yada, 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 yeah, and that's to have fun of it, right? Which I get it. It's cool. And I, I, there's a small part of me that ad- admires that. But you don't but need it at the Olympics. That's what I'm saying. There's, then the other majority of my being is because I'm so competitive. I then go, dude, time and place. Yeah. Do if you want to do that shit, upload TikToks. Upload TikToks like every other cunt and, and dance around. Or do him. it at the opening ceremony instead yeah, of a. Just don't do it at the one time where we're trying to win shit. Yeah. Like, but that's my competitive nature. There's probably someone else that goes, "Ah, who gives a fuck? It's breakdancing." But to me, I'm like, dude, I, I like winning. Yeah. And so I love all Australians to win. So I'm like, dude, come on, like. Time and place. Put your fucking fluffy slippers on and pajamas and do TikToks like everyone else. Don't get all the way to Paris and then start showing everyone that you want to be a oh, fucking airy fairy. I'm so cool. I don't care what people think of me. I love the me- I love that message. I'm all for it. But time and fucking place. Yeah. Like come on, bro. Like there would have been a, a guarantee he- a, a whole bunch of Australian Asians that would have been itching to get on that stage and mm. kill it. They yeah. would have been doing backflips on their heads and shit. Yeah, she did the kang- she did the kangaroo jump. Yeah, that's ah. that, that's where my thing is. I see both sides of the coin, but yes, again, I like it. I just feel you've taken that opportunity away from someone who lives and breathes breakdancing. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But I got one more thing, uh just something interesting I think you guys might like. So everyone talks about the pyramids, right? Everyone's so mm. fascinated by the pyramids. We built this crazy thing and they say that we, they say we couldn't build it now, mm. right? No, no, you don't need that. You don't need that. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 It's just fascinating, right? They say, and they say, have you heard people say, with modern technology, even these days, they couldn't build the pyramids, right? But the Great Wall of China, do you know how much of a fucking marvel this thing is for mm. them to have built it when they did, right? It's 20,921 kilometers. That's right. Sh- it's the crazy. equivalent, it's the equivalent of driving from New York to California, back to New York, back to California. And then yeah. four times. Yeah. Right? That's how long it stretches, right? Mm. And they built this shit to fucking stop the Mongolians fucking coming in. Like, when? Yeah, how many went past yeah. during construction? That's why. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like, hey, that's what hey, they're saying. Oh, <laughs> 20, 20 more Mongolians. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> then when they put the last brick down, one more Mongolian was like, hey. <laughs> and, and, and listen to this, right? So, even what makes it even weirder, right? It's seven meters tall. <laughs> It's seven meters tall and <laughs> six point four wait, meters wide. Wait, is it only right. seven meters tall? Seven meters is pretty big. Oh, it is. It seven is. meters, yeah. Yeah, but I thought it was uh, right? taller though. Yeah. I thought it was. And what makes our last point even funnier, right? Construction began in the third century BC and didn't finish until fourteenth century AD. <laughs> How many is it kept so out? Dr- 50 million <laughs> Mongolians still got in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they probably had time to move locations yeah. back and forth. Right. It had a 40 to 50% death rate to all the people who worked on it and were building it. Right. So if you worked on it, you had a coin cost chance of dying. <laughs> oh my God. And and like it's just crazy that humans are so enthralled by the pyramids. Like we couldn't how'd they build that? How the fuck did they build that wall, yeah. bro? Like, so so obviously. Uh, that's just because aesthetically, right? A pyramid just looks a lot more. It has that, first of all, it has Illuminati vibes straight off the bat. Yeah. Uh, it's in the middle of a desert, much more majestic looking. But when you really look at the Great Wall, like you said, mm. it does go for so long. I didn't really realize how long it went for. Tori's actually been to China with her grandparents for uh, when, when we first started dating, like five, six years ago now. There was like, she went on there on the wall and she was just saying how the walk itself is mm. like, you, and it's up and down because yeah. it's like it's all over. The, it's the the, on the mountains. So it's just like crazy to see. Like she had pictures and stuff. I just didn't realize it was seven meters is tall. But for some reason I had like, I know it's a wall, but I thought the wall was like almost like a, at least double that, like a tower, a little mini tower. But mm. seven meters would be enough to keep a few Mongolians from, from you know. It. I don't no know, seven. man. Th- those motherfuckers are crafty and nimble, bro. They were probably doing the human ladders and yeah, shit. Like. And <laughs> but people think as well it's in a straight line. It's not. No. It like yeah, yeah, branches yeah, it can, out yeah, like yeah. It, it stops. Yeah. It, I don't know, like. It's definitely not a straight line. It, no. it literally does this a little bit. I'm yeah. speaking mm-hmm. from photos, no, obviously. No, no, just not, photos. not like a straight line as in like wavy. Like it's not it doesn't just go straight. Like it branches out. So like there's a portion here and then a portion here. It looks like, like, uh, like a spider's web. Like, yeah. yeah like lungs, okay. or like the, the, yeah. the, you know, when the your vein system and yeah. arteries, right. It looks like that. Like yeah. it just branches out, which is weird. Cause like, couldn't they just like walk around? 
<laughs> like, they go, oh, like they, they, they're mid fighting, like ching ching ching. We're gonna build a fucking wall. Yeah, and then they're just like, that's so long. That pillage one. and rape across the fucking other <laughs> across the border. Thirty five years yeah. later, they're still building the fucking. <laughs> and then and the Golden's are just watching him. Like, yeah. All right, let's go pillage and rape. <laughs> they don't even need the wall by the end. They're yeah. like, oh, they're already through. It's all good. Fuck it. <laughs> Get to the end A thousand years later They finally put the last brick And it's like Dude Mongolia is like Not even a place anymore <laughs> they're, like, they're extinct They go Oh we finished You know Genghis Khan oh. He killed off Like how much percentage 10, 10%, Of the world 10%, 10%, 10% of the world so he, uh, Yeah I think Yeah he had a He had um Dude He changed What did he change He changed the um he like changed the, the oxygen in the, the air. Oxygen yeah. in the yeah. air. Yeah. Like, killed so much people. And like his gene, his genes would have been passed on because he raped and pillaged a lot. Oh, yeah. His gene would be in like All a of fair us. few people. Yeah. He had yeah. like a million kids. Yeah. Like, Apparently scientists reckon that like it's like a stupid percentage of humans are, re- are related to him. <laughs> Dude. What a crazy guy. Who pissed off that motherfucker where he yeah. just went, I'm going on a world... Pillage and rape, like, yeah. and he's just gone and just busting his load everywhere. And he's and absolutely gone people. and just gone nuts. He's Bro. gone, fuck you, fuck yeah. you, fuck Bro. you. Imagine Every, living in those times, man. Yeah. Like, what a world. He would have been so insecure, that guy. He would have been like, oh. uh, he's like, he would have, he would have wanted his seed to spread on that that much that he would have just wanted a whole world of like him. And every oh. time he busted, he would have went, I want the world to be me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, and then apparently to top it off, the cunt when he died made. The people, his most trusted bodyguards, bury him and then kill themselves. Yeah. So, so no they, one knows where oh, he's top, buried. Top bloke. So no one knows Fuck where that. he's buried. But what, what if when he kills himself, they're all just like, he's dead? Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. Dead. yeah. What, bro, bro, you- <laughs> Imagine hey, Joey hey. as the bodyguard. Yeah, hey, you, yeah. you go first. You go bro, first. Yeah, yeah, I, you go hey, first. Hey, no, you do it. Ready? He, and he'll never know who his true Gs were because the true ones <laughs> yes. would off himself. Yeah. Say if you two, right? You two, we us, three, us three were his mates, right? And you two were like loyal as fuck. And straight away when he died, you went, and I went, yeah. you got one, two, and you went, I would have went, one, two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you, the only you one first. standing. You fucking yeah. first. Yeah. Now, I go first, you go first. Fuck you. It's like the Spider-Man meme, just fucking, you go. Yeah. Oh, dude. What a crazy cunt. Yeah, what a fucking, wow. You can't. And back then, it's like, that was not normal, but. Just the, 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 like the pillaging and stuff like that was happening like in the oh, Viking yeah, days yeah, that was yeah, happening yeah. there was all, all on different scales he just right took it to the next level Bro, next level he's like the Hitler but not you know and not as actually he was worse he, was, he, he, worse. Could, he killed more people mm. than he Hitler worse. he yeah. killed way more but people just don't talk about it because none of us were there like no one was <laughs> fucking <laughs> alive yeah. talking about talking about Hitler real quick I've uh I've come across this book. This guy, Joe Rogan had this guy on Blitz. Do Blitz, ever? yeah. So mm. I'm doing like I'm into the audible audible books now. Mm-hmm. I'm finishing. i um, just started the third Lord of the Rings book, and then after I'm done with that, I'm I've got Blitzed, and I'm just. It's obviously it's just about how they used hallucinogens and like and meth and stuff to keep the soldiers alive during the war, and how Hitler had his own physician, his own doctor that like he liked because Hitler wanted to be the 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 test dummy for. Because they, they, by the time they got the drugs passed, like meth and stuff, it, it was too late. And Hitler goes, let's just cut the bullshit, test it on me. If their Fuhrer is testing these drugs and taking these drugs, they'll definitely take it. Mm. So then he just was hopped up on all this shit, bro. Mm. Like, like fucking- So uh, he was literally- Like he was, meth. He, he was just fucking, loved getting on it. Mm. Yeah, he That's loved why you see him at it. the Olympics and he's rocking back yeah. and forth. And like then apparently uh, his enemies, so like United States, England, all that, they had- um, a chance uh, before the world, the Second World War, to off him, right? Like multiple like chances to assassinate him, but they thought it was more harmful to kill him now, right? While yeah. he was off his head, because he was running, he was running the country into the ground slowly. But what convinced the Nazis to go forth was his blind, um, because he's off his head, right? Do you know, how, like when you chat when you're off your tits, and you, sometimes you lie, no, yeah. not lie, but you embellish and you yeah, just talk yeah. shit to talk shit. Um, apparently, he was so like confident in the plans that he had. Because he was always off his tits, but he would he would give people false hope to the point where they'd believe him. But really, mm. he wasn't really doing like not them realistic. justice, like not mm. realistic. But yeah. it's just interesting. Like you, when you said Hitler, I just thought of that. So yeah, yeah dude, I, I've 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 done my research on both world wars, like to the point, like uh, like a fucking nerd. And I was watching documentaries, and there's a few docos where Hitler actually was horrendous, like battle commander, like to the point. Like, yes, yeah, like you said, he got to power just because he could talk shit good and he was like charismatic. But then, so uh, I can't remember, I can't remember. It was early days in the war too. It was only like a year or two in. And most of Hitler's top commanding officers 
or knew they were going to lose a war. And they were trying, they'd try to convince Hitler to, to kind of ease up. But Hitler would be so like, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to go do this, we're going to do this. And then, so they were all then started, a lot of his commanding officers actually started, so the, the records say, started scheming against him to try to be like, dude, this fucking cunt's crazy. Mm. But then there'd always be like the one or two commanding officers that are like, yeah, like they just love fighting in the war and shit. So they'd, they'd kind of be like Hitler's like work yes, dogs. Man. But then the other ones were like, dude, we got to fucking somehow stop this motherfucker. This guy's fucking crazy. That's why like most of his commanders all fled and shit before they... Amer the Allies invaded Berlin and shit. Yeah, it's actually interesting. And shit. apparently, when they right before they won the war, they bombed uh, the place where they created uh, the meth and stuff. Mm. And apparently, that's when Hitler was like, like, like really like, "I'm fucked." You know, <laughs> I'm fucked now. Yeah, but it's just interesting. Oh. But I got one more, one more point. Yeah, I've got one more after you too. One more. Did you see uh, the news about Latrell Mitchell getting oh, done, dude. getting done with uh, with Coke? But the thing that I don't get is right. They're all doing it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, but who who are the sneaky pricks that are taking the photos and then sending them around? Who's yeah. doing that? Have you shit, seen the man? photo? Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it. So you've seen it. Can you put the photo in the YouTube mm -hmm. up on the YouTube? Yeah. So guys who are just listening, you need to see this photo. The way Latrell Mitchell is positioned, right? Straight legs, <laughs> uh, slightly arched back with shoulders rolled forward, right? Head about 30 centimetres from the table. And he's got his palm, what looks like he's holding a card or something in mm. there or a note, and white powder with a cruiser on in uh, close yeah, by. to top it off. Anyone that has participated in such substances knows that the only way a grown adult is looking that close to the table is because he's blind reading the newspaper, <laughs> all right? Or he's spilt some yummy sherbet all right, you know that sherbet that used to be in the packet, that white stuff, and he's maybe trying to dab it off the table. You know, anyone that's had experience in this knows that you're looking at that table, that bench, so meticulously and so like focused. You know, he's trying but, to chop a fat line right there, right? I don't, I but, don't understand how they can. Can't he just? What if he says they're taking the piss and it's a joke and they're well, all fucking baby powder? Apparently, um, his his lawyer said uh, that they the NRL can't mm. officially. Yeah, because it's technically suspend him because yeah. it's technical evidence. The only way mm. that he can, uh, they can, is if Latrell Mitchell owns up to it yeah. fully and this and that, which I don't think he'll do. But you know, Valentine Holmes, who for the who plays for the Cowboys, there was a photo of him yeah, holding. Yeah, he's, 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 like he's actually that. holding the drug. He's you, holding the bag. And he's fully. still playing. Yeah, so like you said, Iggy, mm. like you'd want to be able to trust your mates or the people you're with. Well, I doubt. His best friend took that photo and uploaded it. Yeah. But sometimes I think your friends can send snaps or this and that, mm. and then maybe what some of their friends who aren't friends with Latrell Mitchell no, then snap screenshot it, it and but send then it. In that photo, what's that fucking white bitch? She looks like she's screaming at someone. Like what the hell? She's probably just on done a line. line. She's like, 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 what was that cunt? Wasn't there some dude who's pissing his own mouth? And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Todd, Todd, Todd Carney. Carney. <laughs> but he, he got ba he got fucking banned for that, did he? Yeah, he got <laughs> sacked and shit because he was a fucking yeah. So you can piss in your own mouth. You can't piss in your own mouth. You can't, but you but can you do, can do coke. coke. Yes. Okay. Which is weird because Valentine Holmes, I was flat stick. He's got the bag in his mouth. He's going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't understand. I thought for sure he was going to get spike banned. Yeah. But, but they can't prove it. You just say, well, he could just say, yeah, we're we'll having, we'll having a laugh. And, and like these, he said, I promise you like about 60 or 55% at least. And that's being very modest. Yeah, probably more. 55 or 60% of NRL players are definitely doing cocaine uh, here and there. Mm. The, the NRL culture, right? And in Australia, we've grown up around, like I haven't played in NRL, mm. but you know, we've fucking, we've grown up in Australia, right? Yeah. They're a bunch of fucking savages, bro. When they get together and party, like don't get me wrong, when we get together and party, mm. we can party, right? Mm. But there's something like NRL players take it up to that next level as well. It's because they got money. Well, yeah, they piss their own mouth. Can, they but can, even, <laughs> not even NRL players, even just rugby league players, even in the yeah. lower divisions, when they party, I guarantee they're like oh, a yeah. bit more like a bit more fucked up in terms of like the shit they would do would be like, yeah. oh shit. Like, I don't know, man. It's 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 in the culture, unfortunately. Um, but that's you can't so many players would have been like, seen that and be like, fuck, lucky that wasn't me. Yeah, you know like, oh, bro, yeah. I was there. <laughs> I, was, yeah. like, I had the line like, up. Oh, shit. I was holding the camera. <laughs> um, and then last one, last one. Did you guys see, this is horrible, the plane crash in Brazil? Hell yeah. All, yeah. all 61 passengers Died. passed. Um, but again, don't know how true this is. I didn't go down the rabbit hole. Um, apparently, eight 
of the passengers on that plane were actually oh, high-ranking can- cancer doctors. Mm-hmm. And they were actually on their way to go do like a, a conference on cancer. And of course, the plane crashes. Again, I don't know. I did, I did not do that yet. Yeah, grab yeah, the hat. Now we need them. I have not done, I did not go down this rabbit hole. I will do that next week for next week's episode. But the, the way the plane fell too looked like- It, it was usually, literally yeah, just- Usually off, when a plane like, crashes, it's it's descending. This was the plane falling. Like, he, like, the, like the pilot turned the engine off and just- Yeah. Rah. Yeah. That's why people are now saying like, dude, what the fuck? But again, I don't want to say anything because people did you die. Don't I don't know. I have not yeah. done the research. I don't so know. 61, it wasn't a full flight then. No, like, it, was like, it was like one of those little baby. It was only, it was only going from like somewhere in Brazil to another yeah. city in Brazil. So it's like yeah. one of those 40 minute connecting, connecting flights. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how unlunky. You had 40 minutes to do your job. And I know. That's the thing. Eight of them were apparently <sighs> high ranking cancer doctors. And that's the thing we need. We can't afford to lose those them, kind of yeah. people, right? We need them. Yeah. yeah like there's people walking around, uh, walking around fucking Appalachian Mountains, following people in pickup trucks, right? Yes. They're, they're allowed to, they, take them, yeah. take them. You know what Let I mean? Get their them, truck crash. Get and them on, yeah, yeah. But these guys, man, like, or, and pharma, women, and women. Big Pharma might have, you know, ooh, cancer, they're going to kill cancer. That's what I mean. Imagine yeah. if they were on their way to do a seminar about the found, the cure. The yeah. cure. Yeah. Could be. That'll never happen. Uh, yeah, we'll have to look into that one. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you see the, the guy who stole the helicopter and crashed into the fucking... No. Oh, no. You didn't see that? In no. Queensland, in Queensland, a dude no. stole a helicopter and crashed it into a fucking hotel, the top floor of a hotel, and died. Oh. He stole the helicopter, like GTA style. Wow. What was, what was his plan? Like, what was he trying to do? I don't know. Just I don't know. The st- did he kill the anyone story? else? No, just him. Oh, okay. And well. they're saying parts of the helicopter have crashed into the pool and shit, the hotel pool. Huh, I did like, not see I'm that. I'm surprised he didn't see it. Oh, no, wow. Well, well, recently, yeah. A couple well, of days. thank God he didn't kill anyone else. Mm. Fucking, that's yeah, nuts. Yeah, but... Apparently he stole the fucking helicopter. Do you reckon he? So he didn't even know how to drive it. He yeah. just went. Yeah. All right. Supposedly, I yeah. don't know. But he had some VR game uh, sessions at home just to practice. Or oh, he's had Man. some fucking good gear yeah. and he's yeah. gone fuck. Yeah. 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 He was partying with Latrell Mitchell. Yeah. 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 Fuck this! Yeah. I'm taking the chopper. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, aviation shit, man. These crashes, these plane crashes, are fucking terrifying. It makes me scared to fly. Oh, yeah, oh, right. oh, like, oh, like when they say have a safe flight, it's like. I can't control that. When someone yeah. tells me have a safe flight, I'm like, I hope so. But they keep saying it's like safer than driving. You're yeah. less, like, you look at the maps of how many planes leave a day. And yeah. then, like our cousins are fucking flight attendants. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it makes you, but it's just, oh, I don't know. You only hear about the bad flights. Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, and so when or, someone crashes a car, you hit a little speed bump and you're like, oh, you go, go into a yeah. pole. Maybe it's not as bad. If it's you crash in a plane, oh. you're dying. Yeah, 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 you're you're gone. You hear about the crashes, or it's always high as turbulence. You hear them stories oh. like the, the Uruguayan dude who got, they, they got, there was a Uruguayan flight. Neck, they yeah. got stuck in the, in the yeah. overhead locker and shit. People no. were fucking do you reckon? Up and do you do reckon the um the rate of survival? This might sound like an obvious question, but the rate of survival would definitely be higher if they landed in the water than on land. But like, I'm thinking about all the movies I've ever seen that involve plane crashes. Mm. And you know, the ones that are so far fetched when the plane perfectly, like I know they usually descend like this when they crash, but usually it's on a too big of an angle where they just explode straight away. Mm. But I'm thinking, can't you just like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know much about fucking planes. Engage but the, submarine en- mode. and Yeah. Or like, or like <laughs> pull up a bit. And then co- try to glide down, and even though it's going to crash, the wings might snap off. And but the maybe maybe it doesn't explode, and you end up hitting a bunch of shit, and then it spins out, and then you have a, mm. a certain amount of time before it explodes, and then the emergency well, doors will come out. Like no. but in the water, are you just as likely to die because the impact, or yes, can't you just the impact? And then the cabin will f- fill flood. The water and but they have door, they have doors and life jackets. Yeah, but in the panic, bro, you'd, yeah. you'd be everyone just be panicking. It'd be chaos. Like, <laughs> and you realize you, you you really know of the ones that weren't really listening to the safety thing. Yeah, like, I like fuck, I have never listened. What did she say? Dude, what What I don't get is I've seen so many videos of people that upload like on TikTok and they go all plane troubles like solved. It's literally just like, the cabin of and the the pilots obviously and the crew, the middle of the plane. So say this plane, my phone is the plane. You have a square like cabin, right? You then build the plane around that cabin, wings, nose, tail, everything, engines, around the cabin. So the plane's flying like this. Emergency, you can hit like the emergency button and all the cabin does, it just goes, thump, emerge, like emergency shot, shoot, shoots the cabin off all the parts, all the wings and shit. Big parachute. And just parachutes yeah. and you just float down. And everyone's obviously, if you're standing up, you're in for a rough time, probably kill you because of the f- trajectory of the force. But it's kind of just like a ginormous ejector seat. Yeah. 
So you not a bad just, idea. You just build That's actually, yeah. a skateboard. It's just Wait, like a skate. You, so whose you, idea was this? It's all over. You just type in like uh, pl- plane, how to solve plane crashes and shit on TikTok. It's literally heaps Bro, of Why solid. haven't they already done that? Well, then the they thing- can't assassinate people. Exactly. <laughs> well, not, not, well, not no, they can, but they do them on the way down when they're like yeah. drifting, like, like a oh, sniper. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, think of it though. Like aviation is such a big part of our lives that's been around for ages. Think of how expensive that would be mm. to build a brand new plane and then to top it off one that's got a fucking ginormous ejector seat. Mm. And one they'll probably never have to use exactly ever. That often. Yeah. Mm. But it is a, it's a good idea. Just it's get a few like a, get a few cheap life jackets instead. That'll save money. If yeah. it's possible. It might not be yeah, possible. It might not be. Because we're not scientists or whatever. But yeah. you know. No, I, I can do it. Give me a few days. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me have a night with Latrell Mitchell and I'll fucking yeah. I'll fly the plane for you. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> well, that's it for me, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think I'm done, man. We like, are, no, that was a good that was a good episode. Yeah, we are. Well, I mean, another one. That not any a, different. That was a roller coaster. That one. That was fucking yeah. Appalachian Mountains. How many episodes cold. now? Get your tickets. This 121. is one twenty one, baby. Twenty one. Woo! Get your tickets to the show, motherfucker. Yeah. Ba, 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 it's it's ba, fucking ba, stacked. Ba, ba, ba. It's get, stacked. Get your merch and listen to the song Reverie with Wombat Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. As always, thank you very much, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Salut. Let's go.